I, I don't like it's just you know it's, it's one of these things where it's not necessarily the matchup or anything it's just you don't like the character like that's me and Kami like when I play against Kami I'm like yeah I'm not gonna have fun I don't like this character but we all have the, these yeah. personal matchups and uh, yeah, I happen I to play characters that. who do bad against Kami usually <laughs> that's just <laughs> me that's my that problem <laughs> you know that's my problem uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yep Akarian coming in uh, the event with this Kami option selector Kami as well more Emmer on the on a car inside. All first to three, guys. It is time. Yeah, first to three. Very uh, exciting. Definitely the format that I think you know, most people kind of slowly slide to agree that Street Fighter 6 is definitely edge towards at least uh, for season one. Don't know how things will change in season two, of course. But... I'm looking forward to uh, potentially curse changes. You know, it is there we go. Drive impacts. A. Hey. Oh my god! Oh! Oh, the three piece. Oh my god. That's a that's a round start statement. You do round start, <laughs> EX hooligan, command grab into double DI reset. The fact that you burn yourself out for that one mix that's gonna net like three damage is a statement. That's all I can say. Yeah, exactly. But you know, if you burn yourself out at that early on in the round, at least you, you know, you've got so much life to work with and stuff that's not so scary. So now, yeah. option selector has recovered, does get frame trapped by that delete crouch heavy. And with the level 3, I think that should be more than enough. You know, Kami obviously has the same amount of health as everyone else, but you know, level 3 is still doing a bunch of damage. You know, it's been a year, but every time I see Kami, I'm still like, oh yeah, she has a bit less. Oh no, she does not. <laughs> like, I still have that, that, that first reaction of, yeah, yeah, she yeah, can't, yeah, no, she yeah. can't. I'm sure, like, I got a good feeling Akuma will be, like, the first character with below, you know, 10,000 HP. <laughs> I saw that, uh, that thing about, uh, uh, Akuma having, you know, double the drive gauge, and I'm like, that, <laughs> that would be fun. The, uh, is it Shaku? <laughs> I can't remember who, who did it, but, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a brown start, it's Ryu versus Akuma. Oh, it's too funny. got double the drive gauge. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Akarian. Running the offense to the corner we go. That was a clean round for man like Akari. Yeah, for sure. I think it's kind of cool seeing both these players use a hoogan quite a lot. So it's definitely like a move that a lot of camis will neglect to use. But I think it's like quite strong in this version of the game. Definitely strongest than I think it's ever been really. Like it's kind of actually usable. <laughs> oh. The one brain cell just hits. The cannon strike. strike works. The square current still looking good. Yep. Nets the damage on wake up. 2 0 for a current. This has been pretty comfortable so far. Yeah. Definitely, for sure. Yeah, I think just being super consistent with the anti airs, which again, super, uh, as I say that, of course, he's gonna miss an anti air, but you know what? We hold those. Yeah, Kami's not a character you wanna try an anti air every single time, just yeah. on the off chance that you do get baited, yeah, especially in this game, hurts a lot. Well, there we go. There we go, offense. Selector. Yeah, definitely has the offense. I mean, Kami's definitely a character where, yeah, if you got a good offense, you can definitely run away with it. Oh, misconfirmed from Akarayan, and oh. now. This dive kick from option select though. Get back in the corner, not where you want to be. Yeah. Alright, a bit more pressure there, but no button press. Nice interruption from Akarian. Keeping the corner pressure. Unlucky reset for him. But presses buttons again. And no side switch will happen. Nice! That was clean! Oh, yeah, I love that. The forward heavy kick uh, has got a lot of. Especially on punish count, the hit stop as well makes it even easy to confirm. Had the level two, so maybe that wouldn't be enough. But level two could be a little bit finicky. Now Karayan on set point already. Mm. Oh, Travel is actually working. Why not? There we go, clean and TS. Akarian has improved with that uh, stopping the air approach. Clean conversion option select to last chance. Save that match points. Wow, what an anti air! Damn, back heavy kick, man. Quite active. Oh, that is going to be the punish counter. Into the confirm with the crouch medium punch. Didn't even spend any of that meter. And Akarayan, 3-0 and out. Last time I checked. So, why is that the case? It's just because Zangies are really good at playing against Gals, whereas Gals are not very good at playing against Zangies. Like, even though the matchup is definitely winning. Yep. And the sticky is uh, 
Like the Reese Zangief. So here is a fun fact about the Sticky, guys. <laughs> right, I have a fun fact for you guys. The Sticky entered Capcom uh, Pro Tour, the Paris premiere event. Right? And when he played at the Paris premiere event, he made it out of pools. And then had to face a player, you know, who uh, people did not really look at at this time, right? And he punched that player up 2-0. Do you know who the player was? He's now a millionaire. Uh, nah, it wasn't Uma, was it? <laughs> yes, he beat Uma. He beat Uma in, uh, in Paris. That's my goat. <laughs> I didn't know it was Uma. Wow. Yep. Oh. That's kind of hard, actually. That's so it, no. by proxy, we can say the sticky kind of is you know, Capcom champion. By proxy, he's rich. It's <laughs> <laughs> not, not quite how it works, unfortunately. unfortunately Trickle down sticky. economics. They told me it would work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, nice, uh, nice sequence there from Yuzetsu right there. I think the thousands of burnout pressure, if you're well versed in it, is really scary. Absolutely. Ooh, the sticky going for the reset and let's go. Coming in. Keeping the nice distances, but... I'm able to get anything clean. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> Oof. Big damage, big damage. And that's what I mean by being well versed in the matchup, man. You know, it's something you can only pull off when you're, you're very ready for it. So, the sticky showing that matchup experience. Scooping him up one last time, bringing us uh, around a piece. Oh, trying to drive rush, but going to be met. And Sal seems four heads. And now it's all about can you get close? With the drive rush, that's a bit subpar, you're getting in at least. Ryu Zetsu stays in the air a lot. And that might be the answer for the sticky. Ooh! Let's be deep. This class that heavy, man. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Punch count damage. Uh. Yeah, like, oh, that is going to be close enough. Damn, unfortunate. It's a knockdown. A nice reaction on the Lariat on the throw bait. Yeah, interesting to the normal Lariat, because obviously that team can't immediately press a button after being in the air. No need to go for the EX. Did he drop? Oh, he he dropped it! Oh my god, you're so dead. Oh, you're so... Oh, yes, he can. Easy. Oh. Damn, good meter needed. Oh. One nil. Let's go. Overlay is dead. I'm gonna revive the, the, the overlay. Oh. Good so far. Obviously, you know, it's going to be first of three. Nice, perfect parry. Oh, I think definitely one of the TK coming from there. All right. Slap the man. Oh, no challenge this time. We've seen that jab into a OD Borscht I might earlier. Good conversion. That's one of the punishes you should have on deck, you know, against Talsim. You know that whenever he teleports, you press a button, you always get forced knocked down. So have these ready. Yep, definitely one of the first things you should probably lap against his character on unironically. Because uh, when he when he does commit to the teleport mix up, you need to be able to punish him. Alright. Oh, and that's gonna be difficult. Yep, gets the dive kick. Reuse it to that's the kind of round you're looking for on your Dalsim. Against you stay away, stay away from danger. The few risks he took paid off. Yeah, of course. Like, you could, you could oh. don't want to get predictable either, so it's kind of can be kind of smart to to approach. And Dalsim definitely has some decent tools to do that with the drill and stuff. So, I like the way that Ryuzetsu's mixing it up. But you know, Zangi, but it does only need one chance sometimes. <laughs> oh my God, punish kind of SPD on the parry attempt. Ah, nice TK draw though. Oh, stay on the ground. Still in this corner, counter the eye, and that shit. Oh, you're be done. Around a piece again. Boom. The sticky. Offense pays off this time. It's been pretty good. It's one of the things you know you notice against uh, about uh, Ryuzetsu. He spent so long getting away that he's not gonna get away from the level three. Oof. Oh, I love oh. it though. It's such a smart thing. Immediate. Because if this level three lands, like you know, you got so much of a health lead that you can kind of chill out. So it's gonna be uh, very quickly here. No level three from Ryuzetsu. Oh, this time again, the jab punish counter. Is the Frosch Dynamite. Oh, that's not enough. Now he's in burnout. He's scary. He he can just like chill for a while, to be honest, because there's nothing too scary. Oh, no anti air there. And I actually like the idea of going for a very, very high teleport because there's no EX Lariat right now. So he needs to take the risk. Oh, Conversion. Punish. No! <gasps> oh, 
he tried to drive rush, but he didn't have the meter, but does get the teleport mix up and the comeback. You let see that. Ouch. And Ryuzetsu getting the right approach, right? Zangief in burnout means his uh, anti air options are limited, no more access to OD Lariat. He ended up floating so high that he's always at this range where you're like, do I want to anti air or not? Nice one, it's 1 1. Oh, we are drive rushing, man. <laughs> I think it's called slime rushing, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh no, the slime rush. Uh, they added it to my favorite game. Oh! Oh, I like the DI. Oh, actually, does hit, but because he didn't get the armor before, it didn't get the punish count slap. Yep. Unfortunate. And with this, he's burnout once again, the sticky. Forced to a uh, step back right now, and there we go. One grab, no drive rush behind, so probably just going to a white and chill. <laughs> he got this. Big drop kick. Level one punish, just keep it nice. Okay, try and get into this corner where the DI or these oh, no. loot, these burnout uh, loops. I don't even know if there's anything Zangy can do about that. Uh, Maybe you can keep walking there, but the chip was definitely a factor. I think once you're in the corner, it's GG's. Yeah, because level one's is not doing anything for him there, so. Yeah, very yeah. tough situation. That's why hear me out. Uh, perfect parry in, born, in burnout, but at the cost of health. <laughs> you know, take the risk. <laughs> <laughs> like what happens if you whiff the perfect parry then? You lose, you lose health and you get you punished. Die. Like you do die. Oh, that's God. all. Like that's the one. It's like uh, you miss a shield in, yeah. in uh, type lumina. Skill reference. Ooh. He's waiting this time. Level 3 on deck. Oh no. Alright, he's being very elusive right now. How do we get in? Oh, it took the risk and it paid off. How realistic it is. You know, Zangief he did get his level 1 hitbox buff, not by much. But I wonder how realistic it is for him just to just to level 1. Like in the in the situations where Ryuzetsu's floating, and if he you know sticks a limb out, whether it gets caught or whether it'll just hit him anyway at certain ranges, I don't know. I assume the sticky would know, and that's why he's not going for it. But yeah. let's see the sticky going back to. Uh... Is he swapping characters? I don't know. Yeah. Or did he think it's just first of two? Maybe. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Maybe he thinks. No, okay, it's it's ah. Ooh. ah. Uh, okay, the <laughs> counter pick. <laughs> More Kami. I missed Kami. Oh. I haven't seen Kami for a while. <laughs> oh man, well. Let's see what the Kami is saying. To be honest, yeah, one of the things, if you are a dedicated uh, Zangief player, you usually, you know, have one character who uh, can cover bad matchups. Kami sounds like a good pick. Yeah, for sure. Definitely has the tools to close the distance, like just random <laughs> heavy spiral arrow. Did work out. Uh, we saw Ryuzetsu's pressure in the corner is mainly where he managed to win a lot of his rounds, so... Yeah, Kami doesn't really deal with that much better, but she does have that reversal uh, right Ooh. there, we saw. Can we quickly talk about her reversals switching sides? I feel like every time we forget to complain about it, so... I have to mention it, you know? <laughs> no, I, that was one of the first things where originally when 3x6 came out, I was like, oh, Kami's like, you know, when everyone was like, ah, oh, she's kind of mid, you know, whatever. Uh, doesn't seem too strong, but I was like, mm. defensively, she's like one of the better characters just because, yeah, EXDP, being able to side swap, any jab confirm you can side swap. It's uh, not, not something that everyone has access to. What do you mean she doesn't get any pressure off of it? You're in the corner, that's the pressure. <laughs> she gets <laughs> yeah, out of the about... corner and puts you in the corner. That, that's the pressure she yeah. gets. That's enough of a pressure yeah. factor, man. Oh my god. The sticky, no respect. You know how powerful you feel when you have a character with an uh, invincible ODDP? After you played for so long <laughs> with the character, not you feel like all of the avenues in oh. life are open. Yes, I trust me, Damascus. I've kind of uh, vowed off a char characters without reversals now. You know, I realize that this is not for me. If I have to hold you, GT? a good time to switch to Akuma, I think everyone's gonna <laughs> switch to Akuma if he's if he's half decent. <laughs> it is time, always. You know, like if the character works, he works. But it's yep. time. Uh. And he's... Oof, oof. Two up against Ryuji T. 
I go nice, I respect that. Put the pressure on. Looks like this. Oh my god. Controllers are not working. And Ryu GT. You know what? I actually like that name, uh, Laz, because like there is Ryu and then there is the better Ryu, Ryu GT, the, the, the sequel. That's Ken. <laughs> <laughs> the sequel. Ryu GT. See, is it bad? Like, I literally was thinking of like chat and GPT. I don't know why. I was like, what is this? Some AI, like Ken player? No. Oh, Ryu GT. <laughs> They're coming. It's like any, yeah. any question you see, you, you, you ask, is like, the answer lies in the heart of battle. Thank you. <laughs> Oh. The answer lies in the heart of battle. Oh wow, that killed! Holy moly! That was. I was I was unironically practicing my Ryu voice for a long time because I was I was planning on cosplaying him at some point. Uh, I was going to aim for UFA. So. It's time. You know you need to, uh, you need to get ripped in enough, character. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Listen, my my end goal is to cosplay Sagat, but I need the I need the upper body for this. Uh, okay, I, that's, yeah. a, that's a good one. Thanks. That's a good one. I like that. It's pretty easy. I already have the hair size. It's <laughs> 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 true. Uh, Getting shredded oh. arc for you. That that's a good objective, Akari. I can't lie. Yeah. Oof. Go. Mm. To the corner. Damage coming up. Shoots in the driver's seat. Oh, I'm not sure what he did because there was kill. no counter hits. So was not a button. Maybe a jump back, which is weird. Uh, yeah, he was probably holding up and maybe expecting like an empty land into a you know, throw or command throw or something. Yeah. Back throw, getting on that screen position. Let's check on the driver's and a trade combo. All right. Immediately put back in the corner though. Marissa obviously has some good anti-airs, but a bit situational sometimes. Ouch. Oh, oh, goodness. I'm surprised that wasn't buffered behind a level 3. Shu is incredibly good there go. at buffering the level 3. But there's the goddess of the hunt I'm behind that buffer. With the Riga. 2-0. Very quick for Shu. Very... Marissa. Yeah, generally going to be quick games. <laughs> yeah, very quick. So far. Marissa is one of the characters I was looking at maybe playing for fun. Because I kind of want a character with high damage. But then I'm like, but no reversal. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, you know, that is true. Uh, the the executum is, is only so good, but at yeah. least it's something, you know? No, but the thing count. is, like, I, I don't want to play a side character where defending requires a brain. You know, like, the, <laughs> the brain is for the main character, the side character is for fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get you. See, look at this beautiful ODDP on Wake Up and that works. But you still have a burnout from it, and against Marissa, it can be kind of scary. That's alright, stay. Oh, the sweep, walking. The jumping is not converted, but it is looking good. Crouch medium kick into nothing. Had the burnout, and now he definitely has a chance to play here. Oh! But, oh! Where are, are you going? <laughs> Tried a perfect parry, saw it right at the end there, which was, you know, worth. You know, risk worth taking if you get that perfect parry, you probably close out the round there. But we haven't seen too many command grabs from Shu, so you have to expect one to be coming. It's that point now. And uh, Marissa nearly with three bars. You know who is going to be a quick round if you get oh, yeah. opened up once, or maybe a bad DP. It could be anything. Yeah, with the two touch available. Oh, oh my god. Overhead is blocked at least. Held the parry regardless. Perfect parry. Ouch. Not about three yet, but next it kills. Oh, he's fishing. He's fishing for the hit. Yeah. Oh, we're walking right into these stand faces. Ryuji T going to be able to go into level 3. I don't think it's going to be quite enough. Yeah, Marissa, like... beefy girl. Yep. Another chance for Shudu. While Ryuji's Oh <laughs> my god. Rip. Oh, sevens oh. in chat, please. Put your 7s oh. in chat. The guy dead by the way. Like this is this wasn't even like he was giga dead. <laughs> like that, that was like an extra two thousand damage we didn't even get to see. Timeline as well. It was <laughs> your your viral one where it's Mike Tyson. <laughs> Bro, I I tweeted about this because it made me laugh, and then I left my phone and I came back and it had like five million views, and I'm like, what? 
It's so good. Anyway, we got Jock sort of versus uh, KDL, like so the French DJ player. Means, yep. Uh, I believe Spanish. JP. Um, should be a good, uh, a good matchup. I mean, I don't know if you know you, the overlay is down for now. Yeah, I'm just trying to uh, revive it. Every once in a while, it uh, so this overlay takes the data automatically from Star GG, and sometimes it just takes a while to take it on the new game. So I'm, I'm just hiding it, <laughs> pretending he's dead when okay. it's not. It, it just has the wrong name. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. There we go. Uh. I wonder if there's a, if there's a mod to J, to replace JP theme after all this like Capcom Cup business, you know? <laughs> must be someone must have made it. Don't know what I would Oof. replace. What, what would you replace JP theme with? Uh, I'm I'm trying to think of a theme that's that no one likes for his JP. I would I would put <laughs> a well. Jury Street Fighter Five theme, you know, like the one that oh, never starts. Even more evil. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want it to be something I do like, though. Oh, wow, that's an interesting option. Using the sway into the forward follow-up, and then heavy sobat to punish counter the trick. Wow, that's kind of sick. That was, like, very optimal. I don't know if anything else could reach there. I'm just trying to uh, get close. Burns himself out. Oh, my God. No, no, no. That was ambitious. Is he dead? It's CA. I don't know. It's CA. It's so. no scaling. Wow, it's a hundred. Oh! <laughs> that damage, man. The weekend of pleasure. The oh, one hit that CA. super hurts. Yep. Yeah. I mean, 100% oh. scaling. I think. Listen well, to this banger, lads. Unscaled. Listen to this banger. I'm, I'm raising this. I'm raising the music, guys. Yes. Cat jams in chat, please. <laughs> I had to turn on the stream for a second. Yeah, that one. Oh, that was. Uh, I, I, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what could be playing? All oh, right. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the Plunderer. I wonder the why he's called that. Is it because he's like, I don't know, the finance guy? I, I guess. I, I guess. I won't think about it too much. Alright, KD in the corner, it's gonna wait for now, under pressure. Mm. Alright, the high low is gonna have to be blocked. Oh my god, he wanted to escape a bit earlier. Kind of unfortunate. Another chance! <laughs> yeah, KD out again. One more chance and then uh, blocked the EX projector. Yeah. Oh, the chip's gonna be adding up. Yeah, that was all guaranteed at that point. It would have been very hard to do closing the distance at that range. Okay, oh my god, we'll snake Balmont with the law draw. He basically takes over businesses, so he's like plundering them. That's kind of hype. You know, it's really funny how I love fighting games, but I genuinely have zero care for law. Like, I play I play Strive, I have no idea who is good on evil. I just play Strive, <laughs> it's a great fighting game. Like, I, I don't know, I don't know, I, I just don't really care about fighting game law. You know, it's strange. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, there's certain games for sure, but I feel like, I don't know, Stripe, because it's so, so insane, it makes me want to know, you yeah. know? I'm, I, I'm like, curious. Oh, there we go. Anyway, if you want Lori, just watch the the old uh, Street Fighter 2 V anime. The, the one where Ryu learned yes. the Hado from a guy that he met at a mall who was homeless. <laughs> Like, I was mad, like, I was like, <laughs> that entire anime, really? like, that's canon. It, literally, the canon thing is he met some homeless guy next to a fountain <laughs> in the mall, and the homeless guy was like, can I talk to you about this, the Hado, bro? Like, it's pretty nice. Just <laughs> <laughs> sort of selling him his religion on the side of the street. That, this is actually more accurate. Like, this is uh, how it works in real life as well. You know? And, and in this, uh, no one's brave enough. For, for some reason in this anime, they chose that to do a Hadoken, you need to gather energy for like 10 minutes. So like the final the final fight against Bison has like Ken fighting and Ryu preparing a Hadoken behind for like half an hour. Oh like, my <laughs> god, they're just copying the freaking Piccolo and Goku versus exactly. uh, Raditz, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he was so bad, but the, oh. the entire the only thing people remembered from this anime is a certain Chun Li scene. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know if I know that one. Well, I'm trying to think. 
Because I know there's a there's an old uh, I can't remember which Street Fighter movie it is, uh, but it was like an old animated one that goes kind of hard actually. Like it's aged reasonably well. Yes, yeah, so you see, like chat. I remember it's it it involves Chun Li and Vega, and uh, you know, like it's, oh, it Chun-Li involves Vega the shower. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's the one. But that, okay, the Chun Li Vega fight is yeah. actually pretty cool. Though. That, that's that's the one. That's the one scene people remember from this entire anime. <laughs> <laughs> that scene is cursed. Uh, Street Fighter has like so much cursed media. Shout out to the movie that I've watched yeah. a billion times. I haven't watched the movie in a while, bro. We should do a watch party on the Street Fighter movie. You know what? Yeah, I was gonna say like it would be kind of funny. You know, it's one of these movies like Obviously it's so bad it's well. good. Oof. Yeah. It's probably aged like that way, right? Yeah. yeah. Where it's like at the time they were super serious, like, but now it's just funny. Yeah. Yeah. Jackie Chan has a really funny. Uh, the, the movie where Jackie Chan does the street fighter sketch is actually a movie that was not released in the West. That's a uh, City Hunter. So it's like. Wait, what? It's only the real. There is <laughs> so there is a movie where Jackie Chan fights someone in an arcade, and the entire skit is that every time he gets like knocked down on an arcade he wakes up as one of the characters in the game you know uh. <laughs> so so he so he gets punched up and he lands on a street fighter 2 arcade and he wakes up as chun li and fights it's, it's mad funny you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of hype the good old jackie Chad, man. the saints say uh, greater than chun li shao scene based saints here the goats Whoa. all right and what a very very close match going on on stream right now Chok Zero is in the corner. Okay, they're pre- applying the pressure. No big risk here, just the Sobats. Well spaced as well. Level 2 is the way out. Good escape. Yeah, yeah, if you don't keep that tight, you can always jump back there, but obviously, so many things to worry about. And again, the Sobat, man. KD out. Super precise on these buffers with the level 3. You realize, right? He's, he's buffering and he's literally like, inshallah, he hits. Because if he does not have this, <laughs> like that's been the, that's been the uh, strategy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, it's tough, right? I, th- I don't know. I, I'm sure it is hit confirmable as well. But a lot of the time you see these like hit confirms, and I'm sure, you know, if you've played enough fighting games, you get to the point where you sort of recognize these situations as well. But it's it's more you're reacting to what they're doing before it hits as well. Yeah. So he probably saw Jacques Aro do the dash forwards. And at that point, he knew it was going to hit anyway. So that's why he just sent the level three. I love wow, that, we'll punish punch. the DI, yeah, I love this. Attack oh. the drive gauge. And now it's good luck because you're in the corner. Yep. Oh. Hey, it that should be dead. Mm. Mm. Easily, yeah. Might mm. have to spend level two. Level one should be enough though. Level one, yeah. Yeah. There we go. You know what's one thing about DJ that we don't see at all? And I mean, it, it ended up not being optimal, but that was such an interesting thing. Is he's, uh, his level one as a punish counter crumples. Right, yeah. so initially I was like, maybe there's going to be extra crazy damage from this, but he makes extra crazy damage from breathing on you, so he doesn't need it. <laughs> no, no, it's one of the coolest things, one of the first things I tried labbing on this character. Same. It's pretty cool, but it is, uh, like I said, like, the scaling doesn't really help. You'd think it'd be pretty raw, yeah. but it doesn't really help much. Yeah. One thing I don't see people do, though, is... Um, oh, oh, perfect KO coming out from drop But yeah, on, on counter hit... Uh, medium uh, stand medium kick you can mm. just link level one like pretty much no matter yeah. what so it's actually a lot of damage from what you otherwise would get nothing out of still more to uh, still things available to optimize your character oh, absolutely oh, counter I mean counter hit confirms coming in okay another level 2 this time it hits Walks forward menacingly. Gonna set the portal. Departure is there. Snaps. No button press. KDL trying again. See, he tried that so bad. This time did oh not work. Oh my. That's what a reset on a punish counter throw on the parry attempt. And that was so huge for Drop Sorry, Should be able to actually close it out from here. It's gonna be super hard for KDL to do anything. Oh, he burns himself out, actually. <gasps> deep press, oh, deep press. No. Yeah, he did press. He did press. You know what? I respect the hell out of this attempt. Because. You know, could happen, could happen, but uh, no button <laughs> press, it's too old. I, g- I get the feeling he tried to cancel the second hit, maybe, mm. and it came out because, yeah, that would have been, a- <laughs> I mean, you never know, I guess. <laughs> you don't know what's happening. I think the second hit isn't super cancelable is the issue. Mm. 
I guess the opening this time. Got to watch out. The OD Amnesia gonna work. Side switch. Send him to the corner. And now you have enough time to get away from this burnout. Just keep that DJ away. Nice. Press into the DI. Now KDI will lower the drive gauge. Get punished counter by the projectile. Gonna be forced to do something and spends the EX5, which is probably the best situation you could have got out of there. You get to buy yourself a little bit of time, but you need more than time right now. This is good though. I like that. Oh the fireball the game. Slash is putting in so much work. Got a lot of valid. No button press for now. Ooh, the challenge, but no conversion. That could have been it for KDL. For now, he's staying full screen. And yes, you know what? I don't want to stay full screen. Let me use uh, <laughs> <laughs> my <Slime> tool. Rush. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty slimy when DJ does it, to be fair. Yeah. Ooh, there's a stare down. That's right. KDL offers himself two more match points. Perfect parry. Put mine in the corner once again, attacking the drive gauge, but nice. the air throw. That's fine. <laughs> Street Fighter 6, baby. And then I'm nice. Oh my god, these guys are playing intense. Oh. Kitty L on set point. He wants to play. Oh my god. <laughs> He's just doing it, man. <sighs> did, he, huh? did he bait? Did he nope, help? nope, nope. Oh, yes. Alright. Oh no, the drop! The conversion at least, no big punish for. KDL on this. Still needs that one more opening. Small risk taken by Jokes Zero. He's staying away. And he's kind of in control, but that driver rush once again got clipped. And I'm not entirely sure about that decision. He was so close to his opponent at the range where you can press buttons, but decided to go for driver rush. And I think it's one of the. The things that you see often in six is like driver rush is such a good tool that sometimes you are at reworker in a sense, but then that wouldn't be Makoto anymore, so what would be the point, right? Yeah. Um Yeah, anyway. We are gonna keep kicking things off. Mapalapo on the Rashid, and we are of course on the Ken. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> my, my guy grinding out here. Bro, MBR did the the Ministry of Propaganda move. He moved from Luke to Ken. <laughs> I know he some people who would be proud. Two. They would be proud of him, you know, for, for this move. <laughs> proud. <laughs> yeah. Alright, a clean first uh, round for MBR. And of course, crash medium kick to open the show. Stays out of French. Mupulapo is looking for the way in. Yeah. Just taking the time. MBR just happy swinging, happy with punishing. With that low forward, gonna steal the corner immediately, of course, it is Ken Masters. Still with that corner pressure as well, the fears and the spacing trap. Oh, such a mean button that one, especially for Rashid. I mean, he's got the, the stand heavy kick, but it's quite slow, so being able to poke out of this range is gonna be kind of tough. Oh, it's go time. And that's it, man. Holy moly. There we go. Very, very fast one, and he locks in with the Rashid. Let's go. Mm. No fairness, Ken. Ken, yeah, Ken is English. Yeah, I like. You know, like SF6 I, is actually the first Street Fighter while having English voices. Usually, I just go I full really? Japanese. Outside of maybe one or two characters, uh, uh, six, like six English VA is so good overall that. Yeah. Outside of a few characters that I really like better in Japanese, <sighs> I have most of them in English. That spacing trap again. This time, Mopalama delays a low forward. He's like, oh, I'll catch him pressing the fierce, like, just autopilot. MBR, it's not autopilot, baby. He's thinking, like, he just waits for the low forward. Then comes the fierce. That's so clean. Ooh. I know what you mean, like, uh, I mean, I've, I've always quite liked, like, Ryu and Ken's English VA, but they do go extra hard at this. And a lot of the other characters do, of course, as well. The only one I could never do is Guile, because it has to be shooting. Yeah, no, Guile, yeah. you, you can't have Guile in English. Guile is like, it's illegal to have Guile in English. Like. Hmm. All right, hey. There we go, that should Ooh. be enough to get the kill. No bar needed. Mopulapo nice. takes his first round in this set. Yep. <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I do actually really like 
Japanese Rashid yeah. just for when he does level one, which we'll probably never see anyway, because most of the bar is going to be spent on this Tsar right here. Oh my god, this is going to be so much damage. Okay, just goes for a little reset as well instead. Yeah, I just like his uh, Japanese voice as well. I know I'm yeah. uh, I'm, I'm kind of, it's, it's not much right, but I'm kind of annoyed that they did not give him an Arabic accent or anything, you know, it's, it's yeah, like... Yeah, I think that's, yeah. But to be honest, considering how bad the accents are in this game, I'm happy that they did not. Because <laughs> Manon sounds like everything but a French person. Marisa does not sound <laughs> Italian at all. It's uh, no. it's not good. <gasps> there we go. Oh, not ready with the level mm. one. Mapulapu mm. mm. getting stunned against the wall by the DI. And then we are gonna finish that one off nice and easy. Unfortunately, that's looking like a really good round for Mapulapu. But they go into that burnout situation and just. Yeah, that's the problem, right? Of course, you do have the EX whirlwind shot. I mean, the, the charged up whirlwind shot. But even though it's multiple hits, an EX projectile will always win. Yeah. All right, we're back to neutral. Here goes time. Oh, takes the KG risk. Small uh, punish, but at least gets the momentum. I like that. Getting closer to the corner. Another overheads. Going to like. open his open on top. Oh, oh my we're god, mixing. the chat. We're mixing. Press ah. one if you got hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he hits it. And now we're back full screen like that. Goes back to a uh -oh. chilling. There we go. Nice. Okay. Pull up a slow again in adaptation here. Nice. I like that low forward as well. Into the enhanced uh, um, cyclone. Oh. Oh. Well, <laughs> an attempt was made, I like the answer. And now it's going oh, to be long in the corner. When are you going for level one? Plus frames. If you are. Ow. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh! 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 my goodness. The stun's not coming, it's just the overheads, man. The chip's definitely going to be there. The level one, oh, is it baited? That was the, the most bait hit. moment, man. That was obvious. Oh, he's <gasps> just going to get hit. Oh no, oh. not like this! Oh my god. Oh, oh. Bro, if this DI hit, that would have been death for Mopulapo. That would have been the, the toughest death of all time. Oh. God, after a round like that, man. But it shows you how scary it can be when you don't finish off your opponent like that. Damn. Level 1 came at the right time. Alright. Oh, the mixer and now try and get in. I like that, meeting him in the air. No anti on neutral jump, but that's all right. Yes, crouching only. MBR offers himself one match points. Yep. Nice. So, yeah, you're gonna have to commit two bars though for at that range. I like that the EX projectile, they're gonna come in and he was a drive rush behind it. Good check from Mapalapa though. Oh, he had committed oh. to a button, no anti air. In the corner now, clean the cross cut as well. MBR going for the chase. Patiently waiting. Oh, oh. my! Uh, that's you a know frame what? Kill. We take those. We take those. That was a frame kill. That was a frame oh, kill. That's, that's all. <laughs> I don't know. He was like minus 20 in his face. It killed the, the frame. frame. I don't kill care. Known to man. <laughs> has to leave the stadium. My goodness. It was not a frame kill. It was a frame death, bro. <laughs> but it worked. What can oh. I say? No level three. That could have been driver well. should have been the end. Driver should have been the end. He did not want to press driver as crash. Medium kick! Ah! Oh, wait a minute! Oh! <laughs> Damn, MVR, that was sick. I think if he the level three had come out, yeah. it might have beat the level two there. I don't know. I think level three would have beaten it, yes, but. Did not. Can it early enough? He wanted to go for the mix again, but unfortunately, the same attack doesn't uh, work twice. Stay ducked in, walked underneath, got that low forwards. It's a level three, gonna take a huge life lead in what could still be the last round. Oh, that is a punish on the whirlwind shot. And now DI definitely gonna be a factor. Low forward needs to get out of here. Mopalopo has the level one, but no, not gonna have it on the wake up. MBR gonna close it out. Very, very clean play, MBR. Saving it and getting the win. He's going to move forward. <coughs> All right, game, 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 game. Let's go. Dying, I need some water. Let's go. Okay. Do you want to hear a, f a fun fact, Damascus? Ah, uh, uh, Hessen Crash. 
me and Zerna were the only two people to enter the Street Fighter 6 combo contest. And Zerna beat me even though he didn't do a combo. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? It was a pretty, he did like a Kimberly like reset sequence basically. It was a pretty fancy looking sequence, but it wasn't a combo. I funnily enough just did like a pretty simple Gaal combo and he won. I was, I was very, I was very sorry about that one. That, that, that wasn't a combo <laughs> contest, that was a, that was a Riz contest. <laughs> yeah, that must have been it. Can't compete. Look, it was uh, it was Nick V and Jonesy and J3 on the desk. I mean, look, they were conspiring against me, is what I can say. Clearly, it, it's it's <laughs> clearly they don't want you to win. That's all. Yep. Oh, 100 percent. Oh, big jump. Uh oh. This is gonna be burnout. Oh no, not quite. Yeah, he wanted to. Yeah, there needs to be a flash kick there. Oh, drive reversal. I like that. You know, I'm burning myself out. But Sentry Rife is still going to be in the corner, not going to go anywhere. Damn. That Damn was enough. a game? <laughs> that was fast. Jeez. I barely got the lore drop and then we just ended ah. the first game. All right, all right. He's done JP? pretending. He's done pretending. He's a JP now. <laughs> I'm not a Gal He's player. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Like, what, what, what am I even doing, man? It's time for the plunder! <laughs> yeah, look, you know, it's the off-season, the plunder is coming, it is the JP theme. I get it, you know, try out some Guile. He might go under the radar for Season 2, whereas JP is definitely not making it out alive, so. Alright, in the corner now. Got to deal with the jury's offense. Okay. It's clean Shimi as well, the oh range play is extremely good. From Zerna, he's gonna keep the pressure on the corner. Little bit of. Oh. oh my, just throws him out of the dry rush, Zerna. I mean, the, I mean, we've seen three rounds so far. Three rounds spent entirely on the right hand of the screen. Okay, we might see it on the left hand of the screen now, but just been early dominant in the corner. All right, here we go. Here's a ch <laughs> cheeky bypassing the punish counter scaling as well by just using the level of command grab there. All right, the check. On the drive rush, let's see. That was a clean conversion as well because that advanced drive rush into teleports. I respect that. Yeah, that was kind of clean. Because Zerna was doing drive rush as well and then did jump back, medium kick to bait it. Kind of crazy. Level 2 going to come out though. So... I got hit. Oh, good reactions and good punish as well. Still has Function Engine going though. It's about a timeout, so... That's gonna be enough to kill you. Zerna is having a very, very dominant performance there. Center right. Yep. We need to bring it back ASAP. This guy. This guy's extremely aggressive. I mean, I remember watching him at uh, Essen crash, and basically, as long as he was on offense, it doesn't matter who's on the other end of it, you know? No one could defend against this guy. All right. Right, waiting, it's the fireball game right now. Gets a parry. No escape, yo. Zerna is so good at locking you down. There's no way to play. Exactly. She's got always the right reads. She's very. Oh my goodness. Speaking of reads, the, delay, the perfect parry on the teleport as well from the shadow. And the bait. Oh god, the stand medium punch. Not gonna reach, but still gonna get the counter here. And Zerna on set point, man. Been looking very, very, very convincing for him. Dashing in. And now he's waiting mid range. I really like the range play from Azerna as well. He's really where Center Ripe needs to think twice on how he wants to approach. Oh, every time baiting that jump with the EX projectile. So you're gonna come out. Let's see how Zona wants to answer this. Just hold and parry for now. Does not get baited. Just gets all that drive me back. Very greedy, but it works out. Zona's just walking back and forth, man. <laughs> He's just waiting. <laughs> Looking for a whiff punish or something. Yeah, he gets one there. Oh, the frame crowd with that stand short. In the level three, easy confirmed from the stock charge. 3 -0. That was a bit too comfortable for Zerna, to be honest. 
Very, very hard uh, match for Sentry Ribes. Turn now with this pin. Let's get this. All right, it's going to be the Kami Mirror. Not the first time we've seen it today. And I mean, Why, this rate won't be the last either. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Alphen in pink. Okay. Red. It's in costume as well, but that. Uh, make it easy for us. For real. Oh, that crouch heavy punch, man. Definitely a luxury normal, man. Not many people have got these plus on block normals, and Kami's is definitely very good because it's got oh, so many active frames, you can make it extremely plus. Oof, oof. Let's go. Wait, wait. Is it bugged, or have these guys got the exact same MR as well? It's got to be I swear they do! They do, but like, I don't know. It's, it's, I haven't seen this happen today, so that'd be kind of nuts, no? <laughs> that is a huge quiz. It's so hard to have the exact same. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Safe jump. Oh, nice stuff. Control this time on the right hand corner of the screen. Ooh. Ooh, the reactions from Alphen though. This is gonna be a huge opportunity to get the side swap as well. Yeah. Nice, I love it. And the later level one gonna carry him all the way back. Still get a lot of plus frames here. Goes for the throw, does get the XDP'd out of that corner again. Oh! Why is Hooligan such a good tool? It's weird how Hooligan has a very easy counter in literally any light button, but it still works. Yeah, it's just, it's just scary, I guess. Oh my god, we're gonna find that one hit on the last pixel of health. Gonna be able to close it out with the CA. But yeah, Hooligan's just, I don't know. For me, it's just, it works best because there's so many things to think about now in this game. Like, uh, you know, you talk about the mental stack a lot and how for, for a lot of characters, obviously in Street Fighter 6, you have so much to think about. You know, you got drive rush, you got jumps. You got other neutral skip tools and things like that that you always got to be aware of. You got to be aware of the eye and such like that. That now Hooligan comes in. It's just that extra thing you got to be thinking about. Yeah. Like SF6 really, I feel like exposes my my mental stack so much. Like, I feel <laughs> yeah. like there's no other game where I've been hit by obviously punishable stuff that much. You know, it's just that you yeah. think about other stuff and the obviously punishable stuff comes and you just fail. Yeah, and generally these things will require like individual responses, right? Like to count the DI, you 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 basically have to DI back. Like that's the only way to beat it, you know, realistically, uh, or the easiest way to beat it, I should say. So like these these things are like all different responses as well, which make it way harder. Oof. Oh. Oof. All right, puts man in the corner. The throw loop starting, but no. Uh... Throw another one. Time to guess. Alpha like is, is a just... very respectful one. Yeah, walk up, crouch block, blocks the low forward, knows it was coming the counter hit. I think Momi would have had enough health to DI back there, but Alpha willing to take that risk and it work, does work out. Alright, back to neutral. Both of them with all of the bars ready for big damage. I you know Kami's level 3 is ridiculous because she, she stops you from playing. That was an interesting <laughs> dash under the cannon strike. <laughs> cannon strike. Yeah, like Kami level 3, also the best in the game in terms of just uh, it's, it's, it, its own special move in a sense. Be able to wreck anything, good punish, and the level 3 going to come out. Don't think it's going to be enough. Light scaling. But uh, might be going out. Oof. Just about. <laughs> you know what? I mean, I respect that because if he blocked anything, that would have been burned out. Like, yeah, it was yeah. pretty much the one thing to do anyway, you know? Yeah, those are the, those are the kind of mind games. And it only really exists at this high level as well, where it's the sense of like, you know that he knows that I know, you know? Is yeah. that he, if he blocks anything, he immediately loses the game. So he has to wake up level three, which is why I'm going to do nothing. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I love to see, man. It's like Street Fighter 6 is really a game of knowing all of the options that are offered to your opponent at any time. You know, it's we talked about mental stack, but that's that's the the flip side of the mental stack is you have to know 
what they're up to at all times. Clean and tear there. Alfred with a shimmy, and that nice. should be enough to kill, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, the back medium punch. Not quite, you know, as good as it was like in Street Fighter Five or stuff like that. But definitely against something like a dive kick. It's so fast, you can, you can use it if it, they're close enough. Punish. Damn. Oh, the great equalizer, the crush medium kick. Very up close as well. And he went for the throw. That is not going to burn him out yet. But Alfred looking, there we go. Well, I wonder if Momi commits uh, level one here or something. But then he just takes a stun. He's so he's recovering, so the comeback's way more likely. And does get that hit confirm off of the dive kick. Yeah, got level three in the bag, even. Oh. That's a good though. I'll send a ring to two one. Yo, when is the last time I saw a Street Fighter tournament with both MBR and Moby in it? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, MBR, you in chat, help me out, right? When's the last time you and Moby were entering a same tournament? Because <laughs> MBR didn't play, uh, didn't play four. Uh, okay. And Moby uh, didn't play five. Sorry. So I think yeah. that was probably like yeah, DreamHack 2015. Like the, I think so. Jeez. Cause yeah, MBR didn't play five. Moby played the uh, played some five, and then at the beginning of six, Moby didn't play. He started like just a few months ago. So yeah, 2015. Been a while, man. Uh, nine years. How old were you, Zerno, in that? You must have been like what six? <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Yeah. Seven. No. <laughs> he was eight. Eight. <laughs> so he was eight. Yo, actual fun fact. Uh, I th I think my last ever SF4 tournament match, I lost it to MBR. I hate you, MBR. Oh, that was really? uh, that was Akuma <laughs> dream, a dream hacker dream hacker uh, thing. That's hype. <laughs> God. I still like. <laughs> I think I think that was my last competitive match on four. Like that was the last dream hack and stuff. I think so. Playing and that was uh, this this uh, esports stage on our left, blasting uh, dubstep music and <laughs> plenty of light on of our face and both of us were trying to play. Yep. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Different times, bro. Like. I don't know why it came up on my like uh, recommender on YouTube recently, but it was the like the second tournament that like Ryan Hart was in that was on TV. It was oh, like the World Championships yeah. or something. Like freaking single limb, like first to ones, and uh, like round robins. It was kind of nuts. Like, and that, that was that was the competitive scene, you know. All <laughs> <laughs> ties, man. Oof. There we go. Close one. Alfen looking to take the leads on match point right now. Omi is getting close to burnouts. Yeah, just heavy kicks, man. Do a lot of drive each damage. Does hit that low forward. It's a big opportunity. No, no, three, though. And now Ooh. back in the corner from that. Uh, EX <gasps> Barlara, the level three on the DI reset. And it's CA. Could do a grip of damage. And it is going to be burnout. Burnout, no level one, no reversal. Oh, that might. No! We have oh. choice there. I think he wanted normal cancelled into a hooligan, but the normal he didn't come out. And Alfen clutches yeah, his and yeah, gets a win. Right. He holds the controller in one of the weirdest ways I've ever seen. And he's like, he's it's, it's like watching an artist paint. The way he's really? like pressing the buttons and moving the stick. It's like, yeah, he plays on pad, but he holds it like claw style. Okay. Um, but his, his elegance of movement, man, I was I was mesmerized. I wouldn't lie. I just stood there watching for like five minutes. I hope he didn't <laughs> think I was too weird. <laughs> Alright, let's see uh, what he's doing. What he's saying against the uh, KDR. Yeah, I think Juicy Joe is uh, potentially the favorite to win it all today, I would say, seeing the, yeah. the lineup of players. But it's not going to be an easy run either. Yeah, 2.2 KMR, you don't get that. <laughs> Wait, did he, was it always Juicy Joe 2000? Or did he put that in his name when he hit 2 KMR or something? <laughs> I don't even know. Ooh. Uh, oh no, he had the shimmy, but no conversion. That's all right, you burned out. Just capitalize on this no anti-air yet. You know what? We, we take those. Yeah, bit of a risky DI, but you know, it does work out. Uh, you know, Juicy Joe did throw, so it would have uh, would have lost if he was in range. Ooh. Nice. And now good luck playing. 
But at least like one of the changes I really like that they made to JP is the fact that now you can actually play a game where you parry JP from far. Yes. And you're not like constantly struggling to go to get close early enough to not get burned out. And that changes so much in how you approach this matchup. Yeah, yeah you can actually kind of take your time as the projectiles. Trying to go for a shimmy, man. This pressure from KDL. Not gonna work out, actually. Level 2 gonna come out. This will give Juicy Joe the burnout and the side swap. And so much time and so much drive gauge back from this sequence. He's gonna get the DI very shortly, and there's no way to block this out. Actually, he builds level 1 just in time, but it's not invincible anyway, so it wouldn't help you. Wow, what a comeback from Juicy Joe. And he's keeping his distances. Yep, clean opening. Rush time, jumps around. And to the corner. Oh, the backdash. Oh. Yeah, nice expertly pitch. timed backdash on the pressure there. Yeah, one of the multiple uh, tools you have always. And it's time for the throw loop now. And you know you've got to be gutsy to keep throwing uh, JP, knowing Godi Amnesia exists. <laughs> it's not scary anymore though, right? So I do oh, think it's still scary, man. Here, you can still get decent damage. You can still get the side switch. Still get damage. It's more the positioning as well, right? Yeah. You, you kind of steal the corner away usually, and that's all you're asking for. It doesn't matter about the damage so much. And now it's pressure time. How is the KDL able to bring it back? He's almost got the three bars. Are we gonna see the special, the Sobat into level three? <laughs> he might be looking for it. Maybe looking for that. Oh, I'm just gonna walk into the trig lap though. Go taking that first game. Getting real juicy today. Let's go. Okay, so jump in and waiting. Clean, perfect parry. It's time. Sending him back to the corner. KDL immediately takes the momentum. And now it's gonna dance around, but Juicy Joe happily challenging. Jumps around. Oh, wow. The patience. Juicy Joe, sometimes, you know, you miss your confirm, especially for light confirms, and you might get a little bit flustered, you know. You might be thinking, oh, like, oh, I'll buff my, my special anyway. There, Juicy Joe's just waiting. He's like, oh, I dropped it. I'm going to see how he, what he does and try to react. Now I'm burnt out. KDL, not going to live him too long. Or maybe not. Oh, yeah, ah, I wanted to uh, wow. exploit some of that burnout, but not going to go any further. Juicy Joe is gonna lock in with that round. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I'm not throwing anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a fake, I promise. Yeah, I like that. Heavy so bad. It's quite minus, but when you're in burnout, you know, you're not really thinking. You almost think, oh, it must be safe, right? Yeah. But uh, Juicy Joe got those frames. All right, Jet Bent here is a clean. It's time to absorb. You can't get in. Had the down charge ready. And KDL is trying to apply, you know, the pressure. He is dancing around and finally gets an opening, but no conversion. Still, Juicy Joe in the corner. Oof. Jackknife maximum. Going to keep Juicy Joe in the corner. But KDL is so close to that burnout. Has to play a little bit defensively here. Let's get anti on the, sh on the jump short. But, oh, perfect parry. No punish. Both players in burnout now. Well, that could have been level three. Juicy Joe could have finished it off right there. Oh, I mean, that's still going to be, yeah, going to be chip. Not much you could have done. There's KDL and Burnout. Now two early to Juicy Joe. All right. And it's Manon. Well. Oh, I mean. Okay. Manon it is. <laughs> an answer. Let's see. I mean, look. Sometimes you just need to mix it up. Or maybe you're just playing it for fun. Who knows? <laughs> and you know the, the the current discourse has taken a weird turn. <laughs> As players are suddenly uh, pretending Manon is a great character. <laughs> is that what's happened? I, I've, uh, Th there's I been a, this, a very weird turn of events. Uh, where first was Menardi who uh, told Idem, you know, I'm going to play Manon and show you that she's actually good. But then it was in France, uh, kills you was like, hold up, this character is cracked. Let me uh, play her and bring her to Legend in a few I'm days. Cooking. And he brought her to Legend in like three days. <laughs> <It's> Look, <laughs> I, I will never understand the down the, the downplaying of this character. It was, oh, 
perfect KO. Juicy Joe, make him stop. I'm trying to talk about my non here and play a little bit slower, maybe. But yeah, I'll never understand the downplay of this character. Like, it's like people were, they were just like continuously downplaying. Oh, so bad. Like, I, you know, everything's awful. Like, you know, obviously originally at the start, this was actually considered quite scary because of the medals and stuff. Like, but everyone was like, eventually, like, oh, she's just bad. But I mean, she's still kept winning. Like, people were, like random and stuff. Like, and people were like, oh, it's just random, right? Like, you know? <laughs> but why is everyone now playing her? <laughs> I swear. What are the Oh, it's observe. It's time to observe. He's observing certain death. There. He's still observing for now. Oh, the try now. The attempt. Listen. The bison slide. <laughs> the good old. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the Ken versus DJ. Let's see. A little bit of DJ today. Just saw the KDL right there. Oh, oh, oh. Immediate. EXS Slasher. So good in these Fireball Wars because uh, the risk reward is definitely in your favor. That was like perfect range as well. I think anything closer and it wouldn't have uh, launched like that. Uh, let's see. Well, Domino definitely has a, a different style, you know, from uh, KDL. KDL is a very offensive kind of player. Well, Domino likes playing the Fireball Bait game as well. Let's see, coming in, DI is going to be Parrot. Yeah, if that was, if that was Happy Air Slasher, that definitely would have beat him. So, had the right sort of call. Uh, un well, luckily for MBR, oh, I mean, unluckily, gonna get his DP Bane forward throw as well. So much meter off of that. Alright, we're dancing. Oof. Oh! Oh! I'd, I've always liked that whole, you know, the shiver when you step forward and do that small step, it just feels good. It's like, yeah, got yeah. you. Oh! Damn, party time straight through. Oh, no. Oh, wait. I was going to say no. That was smart as hell. He didn't have the rhythm, but Oof. he was on the next level, man. I bet NBR was like, hi, you messed it up. <laughs> didn't see that one coming. It's <laughs> like, unless. <laughs> unless. Saved. I don't need rhythm. I got resets. Let's go. Gets the conversion. Nope. A bit too far for the second light to uh, convert, but regardless, he's gonna get the back throw. Maldomino going to get game number one over MBR. Looking to, uh, a bit sloppy at the end there, but had a big life lead, so happened. still would have been difficult for MBR to close out. Oh, gets the back throw. And it's corner time. Immediate perfect parry, but mm, interesting. The crash phase did not work. Yeah, just not. Just recovered in time off that jab. Definitely, that's one of the risks about going for these bigger, you know, perfect parry punishes, is that you're not 100% going to be knowing the exact frame there, how exactly plus you are. Yeah. That's why in those situations, I always appreciate just take the back throw, right? You get that one bar of drive gauge damage, and it's guaranteed, and you get the corner. Yeah, it's just being greedy at this point, you know? Yeah. Hey! Oops, there alive. we go. Oh, yeah, not. That's smart. It's such a good one, because, like, this would beat way too many things it would only lose to perfect parry you can't di back because you have no life you need to be ready maldomino always with the right options bump with the gin rise can get a little bit of pressure going on so you're going to push maldomino to this corner nice yeah guaranteed one of so bad creates the space Maldomino pretty much in control in this set so far. Drive gauge right now, that's going to be a punish counter. I wonder if we'll see a level 1, level 2, just to guarantee and obviously get that additional corner carry. So we're going to have to make up that distance. Try to jump short over the top of the fireball, the mash out from our dominant into the level 3. It's going to be a great position, still going to be in burnout. But going to have the life lead for now. Oh! Managed to get the throw, watch out! It's a slasher time, trying to just get that one extra hit he needs! The parry is held! MBR, he's got a bar, he's got the drive, he could get that one opening. No answer to the DI as well, no anti-air! Oh! Oh! Okay, now he's in burnout! Oh my god, ah, oh, the punish carry's not close enough, the low forward will get him there! But now you can just go for the guaranteed DI stun. Yeah, nothing you could have done there. 
dominant. Nice. And we are hanging on by the pixel of life. Alright, go time indeed. And we are trying to keep that corner at least, but not much pressure. It's just him looking at what Maldomina is up to. We don't see uh, Maldomina just constantly doing this drive rush, you know, that DJ is uh, pretty much known yeah. for, I want to say. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, even at this high level, right, the, the DJ drive rush can work quite often just because of how fast it is. So just try not to be predictable. Trying to actually play some honest neutral. Could you believe it? Honest footsies. <laughs> They're very honest. They said it was dead, Damascus. <laughs> footsies are real. And they're scary, man. Oh, immediate the eye, but the level 2 buffered in from Aldom was so ready there. Gonna get the side swap off this. Very nice stuff. Ah! Big pump shop, jumping in. Back to the corner we go. And he goes for the DI. Yeah. Maldomino was not ready for this one. MBR taking the game. It is 1 1. The fight for top 8 is still on. Yeah, kind of an interesting situation right there, you know, so you steal the corner with the level 2, but then if you're playing DJ, you got to be super aware that you, you know, you don't have cross cut in that situation. You know, you have to find some way to keep him in that corner, because if you're in burnout and you get put into that corner, you're going to immediately lose the round, so. Oh. Alright, I need the pressure game, they clean. This is one of the tools that I feel like is underrated in this game, the fact that you can punish a jump away from the corner. You know, having a cross cut, having yep. a, a flash kick that uh, auto corrects like this. Yeah. Because meanwhile, I play Kimberly, and, and so you know, when they jump, I just tell them, see you later. You know, like, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll block. <laughs> okay, bro. Like, have fun, yeah? See, see you on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> that is pain. I mean, yeah, we do see players, they've gotten a lot better at walking under and intentionally catching the trip like guard recovery. Yeah. Uh, the, and it's a punish counter as well, so um, that's a good way of punishing cross-ups, especially if you could then side swap them back into the corner. Yeah, definitely. But it's, it's still, you know, inconsistent, I'd say. It's really hard to because uh, it feels like you press the button and sometimes it works, sometimes it does not, but it's not necessarily you know, your problem. Meanwhile, MBR takes an extremely dominant game number three. is one game away from reaching top eight winners. Our final pixel comeback, and since then, he's just had a lot of momentum, man. He's made some adaptations to Mount Dominance, uh, DJ. Right, so back to neutral, simply a bit of a fireball time, and here is clean as well. And we are as ready. Counter hits on the gin rise. Oh. The normal dominance trying to mash there, but not working out. Interesting choice went for the OD gin I thought he would go for the OD dragon lash behind this to get the side switch, but decided to just wait. Maldomina is going to go for the reset. And we are getting close to the corner. Battle for the resources. Good mount Domin. Open for the forward dash. Now got the corner. MBR with that wake up backdash, but you're yeah, not gonna go punish. Nice, walk up DP though. Wow, right. he recovered in time after the faint. Super Bluster, and he pressed! Oh my god. god. Yeah. And then he decided to put himself in this situation. Unfortunately, he could not get away with it. Maldomino looking to even this setup and not be the second ah. DJ to fall short of that top 8 winners, but. For now, MBR is looking solid still. Yeah, both players with three bars as well. You gotta think of the next interaction. It's definitely gonna. Oh, a couple big punish counters from MBR. Not able to cash them out. Not ready with the confirms. Oh! That's gonna be a big opportunity. Actually, my bomb not for the side swap. Really wants this green positioning. The fake jump gonna punish counter. The perfect parry attempt. DI for the stun, he's got level 3 still in the bag, and that should be more than enough for Maldon to close it out. Brings us to game of 5. Love to see it! Let's go. Going to the final set. 
Spotting top 8 on the line. Juicy Joe is waiting to see if he's uh, getting to run the DJ gauntlets. Because he had to send KDL out. <laughs> and now might have to face uh, Maldomino right after. Send your big bro, you know, to avenge you. <laughs> I just love that the decision making at the end of that last. Oh, trying to beat the fake jump maybe right there. The light DP. But that was a real one. And now, in the blender. Out. BR. Not going to find his way out. Getting throw looped. Wake up low forwards. Not going to find any hit. Oh my god, just now dominance. Turn this around very, very quickly. Okay, there's an anti MBR. Can still make it happen. Gets caught on the back dash with the jab. Now my dominance on the set point. Oof. The great equalizer of the classic, the crash medium kick. You know, I, I genuinely have that thing that if you... Outside of DJ, because DJ is, is different, right? If you're playing yeah. a character without a low forward into drivers, you're trolling. You're, you are actually tr you are actively trolling, not playing character that does this. Look! I don't know how you like. Yeah, how do you stop him walking back if you don't go one? You got to commit to sweep the level three. Oh, me personally, yeah, I do crouch. I do crouch medium kick into nothing. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, that was one of the worst things. So like, in Street Fighter Five, I played Cody, and like learning how to stop people just walking back yeah. all the time was so painful. I was like, I just got to sweep Hail Mary every time. Yeah. All right, final rounds, final game. For a spot in top eight opens with the anti-air from Maldomino. Got to watch out. The escape from Mbir, but he's already in the corner. Has no bar. There are three bars available on Maldomino's side. Can do massive damage of literally any opening. Yep. Mbir can't do the same. Gets that perfect parry. Goes for the jab punch this time, which is going to work. And getting that side swap. Very good stuff. Meaty. Stand fierce. Nice anti-air with the back heavy kick. Still looking for that one hit into that level three mount dominant. Slowly approaching that burnout. And MBR definitely wants to chase him down. Does land a big stand fierce. One throw. Oh. Big jump. Big oh counter no. hit, but doesn't confirm. I am pretty sure I could have killed if he uh, the air canceled Ooh. earlier, but that's fine. Jin Rai into the DP. MBR. Clutching that win, and he is the one going to move to that. Not bad. It's an RPG. Yeah. I think it's a good description. Okay. It's an RPG. There you go. Steal of approval from Damascus. <laughs> What's the game? I it's mean, an RPG. Doctor <laughs> Perry. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in Persona Hell. So I'm. I'm I've got like. Uh, I'm about halfway through. So I've got another 50 hours to, to waste <laughs> in that game. <laughs> at this point, I'm committed. So I can't. I can't stop playing it. And and when you're tired of Persona, oh. you can play adult Persona. That's your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Is I, it? it literally like genuinely it's uh, it's, it's persona but the the main characters are middle-aged men and women <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's why it's so good <laughs> that's actually funny enough people i i like on the reddit and stuff like that people are like oh when are they gonna make like an adult persona <laughs> so, so I'm trying to, i just should go back in and be like play yakuza baby oh play it if you have not played yakuza in chat you should play yakuza yakuza is always good Uh, uh, first set of the winner's semi-finals in top eight. Zern up against Alphen. Uh, I like. I do like to see this throughout, like throughout tournaments. Sometimes you'll see players like MR change. Yeah. <laughs> and Zern, you know what? He's gained some MR. He's feeling good. Yeah. He's been. Uh, he's been keeping himself busy. Yeah. Warmed up. Oosh. Perfect parry back through. Oh wait, that wasn't bad. Nice delay on the reverse level one. All right, Serna getting the win. 1-1 one, one on the rounds, looking to get the first point on the scoreboard. And a spot a winner's final. Oh. Big whiff on the cannon spike, anti-air. Yeah, one of the worst feelings in this game, man, sometimes. Trying to give her a sneaky low forward. DI reset, but often 100% ready. And a level three for the side swap as well. Locked on. Locked on. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. I'll take. Clean. Alfen taking the first game. Are you halfway through Yakuza 0 in chat? 
Does that mean you have started the true main quest, which is the, the cabaret management? And Yakuza 0 is an amazing game. Uh, you know, there is a story, no one cares, but there is a game where you manage a cabaret and that's like... Yeah. <laughs> I've heard like so much about Yakuza and I still don't know what it's about. Like, play it, man. I don't get it. Listen, play, play like, Yakuza 0. Like, here is, yeah. my, here is, is how I sell Yakuza to people. You know, okay. if, if you're an anime person, there is a before and an after watching Jojo. Like, Jojo is such yeah, a... Right. You know what I mean? Like, Jojo has so many references and unique things and, and things that are just Jojo. Once you watch Jojo, yes. your life is a Jojo reference, right? <laughs> That's, Yakuza is to video games what Jojo is to anime. It's, it's a game that there is a before and an after playing it. You know, that, <laughs> that, that's how I describe it. Okay. Yeah. That's, it's good to know. And uh, I'll, I have to think about it, you know, for sure. <laughs> if I find myself with the time, I'll uh, I'll, I'll do that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we got to, you All know, I know is that like there's like one Yakuza game where there's like turn-based combat, and yes. then like one guy's special ability is that he just it's no longer turn-based. He just skips everyone's turn as I was punching people. Yes, you turn the game into <laughs> a piece of wood. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's their RPG as well. Like they made an RPG, and a lot of us were thinking they would just make a fun RPG, but they made the damn best RPG I played in years. And <laughs> you're like, it's going hard, it's a parody of every RPG on Earth, so... Yeah. It's a uh, series you should get into, so guys. Good. Oh, okay. I think that'll be my next endeavor, then. Yeah. If I ever find the free time. Listen, <laughs> Rush is currently going through all of the Krakuza game. I think he played like eight of them in a row. He's at his ninth. Jesus. He won't stop. <laughs> he's he's hooked. I, yeah. <laughs> That guy's locked in, man. <laughs> He's committed. Okay, anyway, back to the game. Zerna. Looking to even out one game apiece. But only a little bit of life remaining. But honestly, with CA. Oh, and that punish counter overhead coming in. Should be more than enough to close it out. Yes. Nice stuff. Zerna evening it up. Like the good thing with Zerna, Zerna is he's always been good, like his Kimberly was always a threat. And when he swapped to Jury, yeah. he started really fine that consistency that he was looking for. Yeah. I think for sure, like Kimberly, it kind of makes sense for his style of gameplay, where his offense is actually just like so insanely overwhelming that, you know, it's difficult to, to defend against this character, uh, this guy, just because of, you know, how good he is on offense. Yeah. But Kimberly, like, the thing is, her character design is she's meant to open you up, you know what I mean? So it's not like you're getting much benefit for being aggressively minded because you've already got mix-ups in your kit and suddenly you're playing a character with way better neutral and you still have that offense capability. It's like match made in heaven. Actually, please. Ooh, conversion and that should be enough. And I'm really liking to see like the more we go on SF6, the more juries tend to uh, use a uh, level 2 over anything else. It feels like we had a long time where juries would not really use Feng Shui Engine, but now they do. Yeah, I, I mean, you gotta give it up to Uma, honestly. Oh, unfortunate. But Uma basically won Capcom Cup by using level 2. Yeah. Like, he had, he just figured it out. Like, he found the game plan that, hey, if I activate level 2 on a punish counter, it does 2 bars of drive gauge damage uh, at any time and sets up for a safe jump. So if they want to commit to the perfect parry, uh, they can lose another bar of drive gauge damage. So you can, and when you are, when they are in burnout and you have the you know feng shui engine going, it's it's you can't lose essentially. Like it's incredibly powerful situation yeah. to be in. So Jury's kind of flew under radar. People thought her level two is too hard to use, and now they've seen the light. You know, hey, it's such a good tool, man. Look at this. Look this, and double overheads. Mm -hmm. Yep. Luckily, I've been blocking. And the pressure don't stop. She's still got going. Oh, 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 oh. One more, the overhead. Jesus Christ. So I'm not looking clean. 2-1. Can Alphen bring it back? Nice, though. Alpha we've got a nice read with the TK dive kick to be at the throw. Such a powerful tool in this game. Jerry has the same with the instant jump medium punch. Alright, it's time for the pressure. Yeah, burned out on the Zerna sides. And you know what? I'm not gonna wait at all. Coming in into the stun. Max damage. 
Mm, she might be alive. Yeah, she is alive. <gasps> Laz, is it time? Yeah, no, 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 this ain't happening. What do you mean? Oh, it's oh. <laughs> it, it was, but then, <laughs> then he remembered he had a driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no. God, curses. See, I, sometimes I try to like reverse commentate a curse something by saying it won't happen, it's so that hard. it does happen. But yeah, yeah I'm meta gaming maybe. <laughs> nice block. Oh, double overhead this time open alpha and up again when you don't have the parry available to you it's a lot scarier the fuzzy oh it's disgusting and you gotta be worried about stun on the di here as well oh my goodness is there not? i don't think you're quite dead though luckily yeah no, no actually balls, hmm? oh he's looping no yeah, okay he wanted the reset oh. but a bit too far let's go That was kind of sick though, so I know fireball loops on Jury. I have not seen anyone do that before. But it would look like it was probably the most optimal way to build a meter, so. Nearly worked. Alright. I like the Emperor's walk, just walking forward and getting the throw. Alpen is uh, switching up on his rhythm and immediately goes for level 3. And that's gonna be really good because that's gonna leave Zerna with about half a bar. So he needs to take a defensive decision to avoid being locked in that. Bernat, I love this! Over. Zona has... Uh, uh, yeah. Chip would definitely have been a factor at that point. Very tough situation for Zona. And there we go. Going to a game number five for the first match of the winner's semifinals. Let's go. Alright. Down. That's one. Let's go. Back dashes to be able to beat the throw in these throw loop situations. Yeah, I mean, if it's a perfect throw on like a meaty throw on a throw loop situation, yeah, you technically will never get punished there. But at this high level, you're rarely going to get someone just doing immediate meaty throw because some people like to delay their options to try and open you up. Oosh. Alpha. Actually, he's on set point himself now and has the corner control Zerna. Got to find a way out. Great neutral jump. And that's going to be burnout. Let's see how much corner carry he can get out of this. Oh my. The EX? Fuhaji? Just for the corner carry? That was sick. I've never seen that before. And look at how long it is now because you're in the corner. You need oh, to find marble, the gap. Baby. You need to it's press marble, the button baby. when needed. When do you it's block? Marble, when do baby. you press? What do you do? <laughs> oh <laughs> no! <laughs> Sensing the DI the last second and Alfin ready with the whiff punish to close it out. Damn, what a set. Clean sets. And it is Alfin moving to win us final. Whenever he enters the tournament, he tends to, uh, you know, always do. Be earning if he wins the <laughs> tournament. I like that. Yeah, especially if you're a player and you've entered the tournament, man. It's your money, guys. Come on. Exactly. And, like, yeah, with the double clothes to claim, that's a free $25. Like, it's not nothing. That's not nothing. Still good, you know, good, uh, good after an evening of effort for the tournament yeah. winner. Pays for your takeaway right there. No, I'm already thinking, what do I eat? <laughs> <laughs> Move! <laughs> He's so... I, I love, you know, like, so I think annoyed. one of the things I love the most about SF6, I think it's like... It's the most quotable fighting game of all time, I think. Like, it's... I don't know, it feels like every single voice line in this game is cool. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you're right. I probably do find myself saying, Coming at ya! See? And uh, a little bit too often. Any character, you know, like this. I don't know. I, I feel like oh, in all of the right. fighting games I've played, I don't think I've had so many lines that I naturally wanted to say than in 6. Yeah. Memphis. Memphis is the best example, right? Memphis, and And even yes. then... If you go to events offline, Street Fighter 6 has created this tradition when when certain moves happen, everyone, like if Memphis happens, the entire crowd is like, to Memphis! And that's what I love. Yes. You know? Oh, oh you're so right, actually. I was thinking too small as well. There are so many lines that, you, that are kind of subtle, like on perfect parries, for example. Yeah. Amateur, when like, Ken you know, is like... Amateur, yeah. yeah. Or my favorite is actually Jamie's, who actually says, hold this L. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Hold this out. I assume oh. you, man. I don't know. It's like it's it's an art, you know, to make a good quote in a fighting game, and I think SF6 absolutely nailed it. Like, I don't know. I cannot hit a Kimberly level two without saying with her, you know, we can do this all day, every day. It just it's, it's yes. part of the it's part of the game. I love I mean, it. Just I'll be playing Guile sometimes, and I just be saying shooty sometimes. Exactly. <laughs> shooty. And that's why so we love the game. kick. Yeah. It's so meaty when he says it. Oh. Yeah, they did an excellent work with the war service for sure. And actually, that is a lot of character, these characters, right? Yes. Absolutely. All right, to the corner we go. Ooh, it's going to be long for MBR. He's got three bars. He can at least parry, but he's still forced to wait. Juicy Joe decided to just fight his burnout by being on the offense. Got to watch out the portal. He's going to get the punish. That DI was not the right choice. MBR, Juicy Joe takes the game. Yeah. Yeah, the support spike, man. I like that though, because Juicy Joe knew that was there, right? So all he had to do was just wake up and block, and eventually it would activate. So very smart planning from Juicy Joe. Definitely one of the stronger tools that JP has in his arsenal. Oh. This, this whiff punish is like one of the most damaging, you know, psychologically, I feel like. When you get hit by that whiff, <laughs> by, by the, yep. I don't know. Decaying, baby. That hurts. The way I like pushing a crumple animation. Ugh. He teleported to the wrong one and mixed up MBR or the right range. one, I guess, if you're Juicy Joe. Did you see that range as well on the crouching medium kick? He was right out of it. Stand light kick into driver's cancel to with punish it. Juicy Joe's neutral game has been absolutely outstanding so far. MBR looking yep. to get closer. Yeah, I do like that because uh, JP is definitely a neutral monster. Even though without excellent walk speeds, you can still, especially when you got that corner, bait out a lot of buttons and whiff punish. Ooh, excuse me. Burnout though, Juicy Joe. Oh, he missed the whole parry, gets a little bit back. It's not in burnout. I'm fighting back now. Wow. Yeah. And that's when, it's, uh, management. that's when it's often okay to just like get hit on purpose and avoid going burnout. Juicy Joe for now is uh, waiting. Ah, that's That'll the one. Though. Yep. But gets away from that uh, dangerous corner position. He's going to be happy to block in mid screen. That's fine. That's fine. Blocking, no need to take. One of the few moments where take the throw is actually a valid saying in a Street Fighter 6 as well. Yeah. Yeah, especially mid screen like that. You're in burnout. Your opponent doesn't want to throw you because they yeah. don't want to give up their pressure right there. So happy to block it out. And look, now came out of that situation very healthily, hitting that anti air very easily. There we go. Who needs Crouch Fierce when you got forward heavy kick? Very nice stuff. Yes, sir. Ah, the plunder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it still just cracks me up, man. Like, uh, just jury winning Capcom Cup, and all you hear is. <laughs> <laughs> it, it will. Uh, it was one for the ages, man. We'll, we'll remember this one for, the, for a long time. Yeah. I just, uh, I can only assume, like, I don't know, whatever PC they were using for the stream and stuff, they just didn't have, like, any other themes <laughs> to play. <laughs> they only had, like, a few of the themes, like, the rest got corrupted or something. But... No, the producer was just a JP fan. That's all. Yeah, but, like, I love this theme. Catch me uh, using the theme constantly. Let's go. Guess the side switch. <laughs> yeah. one of those two. Tasty Steve says, Ocean <laughs> Nitra. <laughs> this is, this is now known as the Tasty Steve Super, you know, like that's all. Yeah. <laughs> he, he changed he the perception it, of the Super. Mm -hmm. Move. Move. Let's go. Big damage as well, and I like that because he's going to recover a good amount of drive. Really put MBR on the back foot there. Early enough to get a level 2 on the next round as well, so probably the best time to use that level 3. Seize and desists. Who, who says that? Do excuse me. <laughs> who says that while they're beating <laughs> your ass up, man? Do excuse me. It's too cool. you can... <laughs> they shed it to softball, but the playlist was JP's team 100 times. That's it. <laughs> It, it yeah. was JP Steam, but I, I in, like to imagine <laughs> in different <someone> language. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I 
Maybe. The plunderer. Yeah, le plunderer. <laughs> El plunderero. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just hope someone was messing with them and then like whoever had access to the plate, they just queued up JP's team like 10 times. That's it. Like, every start of the day, they just snuck in. It was like on a phone or something. I had 10 the plunderers. Oh my god. So you're like, it, it's single handedly made all of the event runners never use that team anymore. Like, it's it's <laughs> yeah. so funny. Oh, optimal. Crouch fierce. That's a nice thing. Sometimes, you know, you perfect parry a jump in. You don't want to commit to a slow button because you might not get the punish, but oh. he knew that NBL was so high up. There's a perfect parry. Yeah, I love the perfect parry there. Juicy Joe burning himself up, but that's that's fine because NBL is going to be burned out as well, and he wanted the drive reversal, not the right choice there. Watch out, because you're in the corner, you burned out. You have the bar, but when are you going to commit to it? It's time to block in mid-screen. Close the distance, he will recover. Oh, oh. Get that drive gauge back real quickly for the drive rush overhead. Number one. Oh. oh, it's enough. That was wow. right enough. That was pixel. Uh, uh, which will PFL. Uh, he's quite popular, you know, in Europe and France. And there is this one fighter called uh, Cedric Dumbe, who's like extremely strong, but he's also the biggest troll. Like, imagine you're a ridiculous fighter, but you also peak at using Twitter and that like shit talking online and stuff. That's him. Uh, Okay, right? Okay. Like, this guy, like, fought someone, and before he fought him, he, like, he booked an ambulance to wait outside of the ring just for his opponent. And, like, that's the kind of guy he is. <laughs> right? He's... Right. He's a character, right? That's oh, I, yeah, yeah. And, and in one of his matches, uh, he played against a, a guy whose first name was Jordan, and what he did when he entered was just say, Jordan, you're dead, but the entire crowd went with him and was screaming along, you're dead with him. So you had the entire oh, crowd being like, Jordan, Timbo, that was incredible. Uh, and, you know, okay. That's, that's the that's, one. That's just the reference. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the law like for you it. guys. We'll, we'll, we'll see if uh, KDL can live up to the, to the hype right now. <laughs> to, the, to the shit talk. And ju just for the story, by the way, after getting the entire crowd uh, telling you're dead to the guy, he actually knocked him down in like eight seconds. That was like, that was... <laughs> Incredible. That's a <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> That's kind of hype, actually. For real. Sheesh. For real. Ooh. This is the link, unfortunate. It's looking, looking good for Mount, uh, for KDL this round, at least. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight, straight on it. Let's go. <laughs> Even in the chat, I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> this is the classic. I love it. It's it's such you know like I'm all for uh, that's one thing I love about fighting sports and stuff is that shit talking is still a thing. You know, it's like it's it just adds sauce, you know, so much when when there is some kind of beef or some kind of lore behind the fight, you know, and and they always put effort into doing this. So I mean, yeah, that's basically what makes wrestling so exciting, isn't it? Really. <laughs> Yeah, but the thing I like is like, it's not a script this time. It's them literally fighting. Yes. Sometimes <laughs> it's, it's a, actually just real. Sometimes it's a script. It's, Let's be real. Sometimes it's the promoter yeah, being they like, play it up a bit. pretend you hate each other. Every once in a while, you have that real rivalry and that that hits, you know. Yeah. Alright, can we bring it back? <gasps> oh, so. oh, dead. Dead. I don't know if you want that, but yeah, yeah. I can die to the CA here. Oh, I mean, yeah, I don't actually know if KDL could have done anything in that situation. The wake up jab was a. Was an attack. I guess if he got the jab out, he technically could have got the throw. Mm -hmm. But obviously couldn't have known that. Unfortunate, but let's see. 1 0 for Maldomino. And there we go. We're talking about uh, UFC and we go to the octagon for game number two. It is time. <laughs> it's kind of hype, actually. <laughs> Street for the six is simply blessing us. Maldomino putting him into the corner. Walks around, punish counter throw. All right. Oh my God, look at that link as well. The driver of that medium kick. Counter hit into the medium sabat. Oh, damage. You know, the damage he gets of this is criminal. It's not right. <laughs> it's not right. It's a fireball, bro. Oh. 
Like, why? I spent two bars though, it's balanced. So, that's how it works. I, know, I guess it's kind of slow, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I got no excuse for this character, man. Nice answer there. Perfect charging right there from our dominant. I'm hoping, I'm hoping Urian makes it into Street Fighter 6, I won't lie. You just I mean, see some maldominant yeah. Urian. Yeah, Maldo is only waiting for this, obviously. Urian's a cool character, man. I wouldn't mind seeing uh, oh, you yeah. know, seeing him in things. Like, I'm, I'm all about... I mean, obviously, characters have nostalgia and stuff, but I'm all about characters who will bring something fresh and different. And, you know, yes. Urian is one of those archetypes that would work in my opinion. Yeah, very unique in a way. Oh my god, Machine Gun Upper has no business doing that much damage either. Yeah. I mean, we know this character does damage, but also has a great answer to the to the uh, EX way, which we've seen a lot. Um, Dominant's got all the answers for it, though. Yeah. Let's go, it's time to be in the corner. Hmm, how do you escape this one? You are not going to escape this one. The Drive Impact is going to work. And... Uh, Maldominant taking game. Number yeah. two has been pretty comfortable so far. Yeah, yeah. It's been a little bit back and forth, but just in the clutch. Again, one bad decision from KDL. And I guess he's just had the, he's had the counter play, right? Again, to the EX way. Being able to... He saw that KDL didn't commit to anything. Because I think the last time he committed to the overhead, he got counter hit by the Crouch Fierce. This time commits to nothing. And Maldominant's ready with the sweep counter, you know, punish counter. And that's, you know, a three-bar drive gauge swing, yeah. if you think about it. Because he spent two bars for the EX way, and then you get punished count by the sweep. So, yeah, it's really well played from our dominant. Absolutely. KDL is looking to go around this time. Gets an opening at least. Gonna put man into the corner. There we go. Conversion is there. Maldomin on the back foot in the corner. Finally, getting the right read this time. KDL building up the momentum. Stuff from our dominant for this round though. Ah, tries to go for the wake up backdash. I have parry on the forward medium kick though. Goes through the corner and our dominant immediately with the wake up jackknife maximum. The level two over the top of the EX. Yes, this level two is insanely invincible. Yeah. The projectile so well and the side swap as well. It's not a really situation with our dominant. Maldo has been one of the first I've seen to really put that level two into good use. Like he's really, really good at uh, closing your options with a long range level two. And with this, he's yeah. going to open himself, to offer himself, sorry, a match point. Remember, this is loser's bracket. So loser gets that seventh place. Back with the crouch, medium punch though. KDL looking to get some momentum, take his first game maybe in this set. Has level three on deck. <laughs> oh, and there's the, the special. The, the <laughs> KDL special. The KDL medium special. Medium buff it into the level three. Yeesh, look at the damage, man. All right, he's trying to just manage his life lead right now. Okay, the LES stay around, play that fireball game. Maldomino is the one who has to take a risk there, but he's the one deciding to go for the drive rush. Thankfully, that paid out. KDL was like, I'm not waiting. Patience is cringe. Yeah. Yeah, maybe just saw the opportunity with Maldominant committing to the medium air slasher there. And got, again, DJ's drive rush being so good. He actually managed to basically go from, you know, mid screen all the way to the full screen to, to punish. All right, yep, the anti is there. Not gonna let him escape. Just yet, the anti jump into nothing. But at least Maldomino has the perfect position. No anti air there. He's still gonna get in. Pressure. Okay. Dominant. Man. Doesn't want to even take the chance on the sweep being plus there. All right, we still dance. But now it's uh, Maldomino who's looking good. Getting in. And now we're getting close to that situation where you can DI. And force him to uh, not DI back. Oh, gets a dry rush down short. He's alive on a oh, pixel. Uh-oh. Oh, he oh. oh, was already for the conversion. It's kind of yeah. awkward from that range, I think, from the full screen. Ugh. He's still alive somehow. Oh. Oh, goes for the perfect parry. Mount Dominant finds the throw. Puts himself at a set point. Okay. 
<laughs> What's bound to eventually happen? That's fine. Match point for Maldomino on this DJ Mirror. Let's go with dancing. And KDL has opted to be a bit more patient now. Button trying to get a whiff punish here. KDL, but not finding one. Don't choose his buttons correctly. Ooh, the jump back into the forward jump just catches KOD off guard. Commits the parry, gets punished, counter thrown, and medium to back on the wrong way, but. A dominant in the scramble, finding the level three. Not gonna be quite it, but only needs to win like one last interaction to close it out. Oh, you need to escape now. Oh my god, nah, 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 nah. It was like, yeah, you're trying to jump? T not here. Not today, wow. man. Never. Not happening. <laughs> like, it, even if JP was weaker, like, this would still suck as a matchup. Yeah. <laughs> Stylistic differences. <laughs> 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 so we got the drip tank. Look at this color, man. Jesus. I don't know how he gets those trousers on. You know what I mean? <laughs> I swear. The skin tight. The, the, the EX skinny, man. The extra medium. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like this matchup, though, because it looks like he's just kind of like copied JP's drip. <laughs> this is the Riz. Actually, in, in the Riz matchup, I think it's a it, it's close to a 5-5, five -five, oh. you know? Like this, you. Yeah, that's true, actually. Oh, it's crazy how they're actually giving this character good costumes as well. It's not <laughs> fair, man. Given JP the clean ass, like, I don't even know what to call the other costume, but then given Ryu, like, I don't know, the gangster one. <laughs> the Ryu costume is so bad, man. Yeah. <laughs> he, got, he got checked, what man. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's so unfortunate, man. He's got some good costumes in 5 as well. Oh, well. Oh. Jump zero. Looking for that DI, obviously trying to bait the key into doing the counter DI. But we're above Ooh, that. We're there above we go. that. So damage, yep. But he still needs another opening. Oh, there oh. we go. Coming in. And the sticky is going to be the one taking round number one. <laughs> That's the classic. You got to watch out for that one against Zangief players, man. They they love to stand short into the EX bear grabs. Pretty fast, but it is. definitely within that reactive range. Ah, so now we're playing the parry game, but it's one of the things as well in this matchup that at least changes that Zangief can now pretty much chill and parry full screen, right? He at least gets an argument to make JP come closer. But you know what? Coming closer, that's all he wants. Free hugs, bro. Yeah. Burns himself out as well. So not gonna have access to any OD projectiles, any OD trick lab to try and keep him out, but he does have a level two, which is could be more than good enough, but no forward gonna land. It's the key. I don't know if you can parry there actually, because I'm trying to think off a stand medium kick. I don't know if the crouch jab or true block string there, but mm. either way, level two gonna close it out for Juxero. Oh! Guess the stand light kick, but can get oh my oh. god, no way! <laughs> <laughs> ah! This is the stuff that Zangief players live for, man. Drive rush in level three, big 50% damage. Oh, juicy. Shake his hand, man. Your chat, can someone clip that, please? I need to tweet. Clip, clip the drive rush into level three for me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> is that the legend Nemo Smacks? In chat, oh, shout out to the Nemo Bang Smash. Shishigami legend. Uh, That's a wanted champion right there, my guys. Yes, sir. Oh my God, the range, <laughs> oh. the range, the range. I love him. I love the support for the Spanish brethren as well. He got hit by the by the dry rush level three. Nemo Smash is like, don't worry about it. He doesn't have it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the mentality, man. Don't worry man. about it. That's the mentality. Yeah, yeah. Is that he's used it up, bros. He's got nothing left. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice. So far, the Sticky is playing ridiculously good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a moment of silence. It's the only thing I can listen to now. <laughs> Takes your attention oh, away from the game. Sick. I don't see enough because I forget you got like by the stage and I don't think I've bought it. <laughs> I, li I like the stage. I like the fact that there is that uh, bison hat behind. That that body oh, we don't really know. That that's behind as well. That I don't know could be bison. Oof. Bison coming back, chat. 
are the leaks real? He, he 100% is. Honestly, like, having made a stage where you see the Bison hat there, I think he's the biggest pointer to me. Yeah. I hope he doesn't, but... I mean, I'm just... Uh, you know. As much as I hate I fighting like Bison. Bison, I think Bison is cool. Yeah, that's my problem. Like, I don't like fighting him, but I think he's a cool character. That's fair. That little shimmy. Using the departure spike. Oh, yep. Yeah, too much I... pressure. Oh, no. Oh, no. The portal, but that's all right. He is going to go with the slap into level two. And that should be enough regardless. Or is Zangief's health going to save him? Yeah, yeah but that's not enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was... It's good as done. <laughs> Clean. 1-1. One, one. One. In this loser's yeah. quarterfinals. Little bit Bangor. more controlled. Just how, what you need if you're playing JP. A few nice whiff punishes. Checks on the approach, but ugh, gonna eat an SPD for your troubles. Ooh, three hugs. Three hugs. Hey man, you gotta pay your HP for us. <laughs> Ah, that was fast. Oh, gets the clean jump in as well. <gasps> Bro, the sticky. Oof. Making a statement right now. Trying to get, get out. Zangief round. Yep. Oof. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Oh, gonna whiff that parry, gonna whiff the drive rush. But you got a lot of health. You got a lot of health for Zangief. And you got that stand fierce as well, which is also a great way to deal with burnout. Um, so, oh, that SPD is going to be enough. Nice. I'm going to stick it even in burnout, making that happen. Listen, for you guys who might have uh, joined us, right? I mentioned earlier, at Capcom Pro Tour Paris, the sticky uh, eliminated Uma. <laughs> from the tournament, you know, that's... Uh, that, that, he's in his death note, Uma is in, you know. His death note. <laughs> Has uh, beaten the name. It's kind of like, oh. Oosh, wow, the fist actually beating out the EX projectile there as well. It's kind of nasty. Oh. Ooh. The million dollar geef, the one <gasps> and only. Ouch, we're getting mixed. I mean, how, how else would he buy uh, would he buy that that immaculate frizz than with budget? <laughs> look That's at look true. at how fitted the shirt is, bro. Tailored. I'm going to tailor Zangief, bro. <laughs> Where are you finding these guys? Shout out to the tailor, because that was work, man. These shoulders, they're not easy to fit. <gasps> oh uh, my god, he knows, he knows, he knows. He's in his head. But you know what? Watch your toes. JP is giving him a little critique. I don't really like these... Uh, nice. Oh yeah, that forward heavy kick. Oof. And the level 3 is going to be burnout. now. Ooh. Excellent position for Jack Zero to finish this off. <clears throat> That's gonna be difficult, man. Uh, dead. Ow. Dead. Choke Zero. Making it 2 2. It is the final game to stay alive in this tournament. Can the Sticky continue making the miracle happen? Because Jock Zero is looking solid as hell. Number five. Both players just slowing it down a little bit. Again, Zangief, you're gonna slowly walk your opponent to the corner where they got nowhere to run. Alright, the punch. Wow. In a way to stop the jump in. Chuck Zero is uh, plotting right now. Do I stay away clean with punish? Woohoo! Oh, that's alright. <gasps> Invincible! You're right, it's such a quotable game, isn't it? <laughs> For my loyal fans! Oh my god! Oh, oh no, he's dead, yeah. he's dead, he's dead. Keep uh -oh, going, keep uh -oh, going. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Don't uh -oh. ever want him. Okay, no. He was like, yeah, he's looking for the jump, bro. He's looking yeah. for that jump EX port <laughs> dynamite. I'm telling you, it's happening. <laughs> Jock Zero, do not leave the ground. I beg, do not jump. Oh, See, just goes for the throw and not the. Up. 
Come on, come on, what is happening? We're walking forwards. <laughs> Your man's just tech and drive rush with the SPD. And that is going to be Maldomino versus Zerna. Okay. Let's see Maldomino taking over KDL in the mirror matchup. To, to be here, Zerna obviously losing to uh, uh, Alphen. In the winner semi finals, so. Oh, yeah, slash. oh yes. I want to talk about that as well. The EX command. Oh, baby. You got frame trapped by the target combo. The faint. Oh, look at that damage, man. You pressed. Hold that. And again. I like it though. In burnout would have been hard to punish, so. The follow-up to that is obviously going to be minus, uh, it's like minus eight, I believe. Um, but it does frame trap if you're trying to take your turn back after the first two hits. All right, this time, it's still time. And you know what? I can take the guess as well, man. Great equalizer, I like that. He's going to attack that drive gauge, looking to get that burnout, but Maldomino manages to escape, lets himself get hit there. Still gonna be oh, with the parry and Zerno. We'll talk about the love two should actually connect here, yeah. Very nice timing. Gonna get the side swap. Still in burnout, obviously. So gonna have to be very careful with this drive rush. Or just gonna take his turn dashing up. Jab gonna hit meaty enough. All right, my dominant taking the first game. All right. Dance around now. Zerno immediately takes the offense, and you know. In a battle between uh, the, the best two drive rushes in the game, you know that that's going to be a massive factor in winning or losing the match. Both of these looking yeah. to let it rip. Okay. All right, we take those. Bit of a lucky uh, moment for Zerna there, but why not? Hey. Enjoys the distance to just charge up some Fuhajins. Yeah. Dogs going, make all your pressure game. He confirms, even scarier, great check on the dry rush. Definitely, flash kicks are very privileged in being able to check dry rushes like that. Gonna catch the just cool back. And Zerna gonna take a round. Oh my oh. God. I'm dancing. I'm dancing, that's all he's saying. We are vibing. Serna in the corner. Maldominant trying to keep the <laughs> offense because he's low on drive. Let's go. Oh, nice. I knew he was in range to get the uh, heavy up kick extension, though. That is going to be burnout. And oh, I don't know how Maldominant gets out. This one, wow, he walked forward out of the corner. I don't know what happened there. Maldominant not blocking the cross up again. Put back into the other. Oh, oh, oh that's, that was a nasty setup. Oh! Oh! Oh okay. no! Why not? Oh. Oh. He's just different, Damascus. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm tilted. I'm tilted. He Paul is Zerner. composed uniquely. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Like sometimes you gotta say you outplayed. Sometimes you gotta say, "Damn, that was." Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> to jump back. But I mean, it was smart. That was like, you know, realistically, that was the best option with the other fireball behind him as well. But oh. Oh, look at that. Turner in a way, in a place to completely close out the set. Oh, close out the game. And now my dominant looking to go 2 0 up. That sick comeback. Yeah. Oh, meaty back heavy. Wow. Mm. Maldomino still looking good. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, it's going to be tough as well. I mean, I feel like Zona's very momentum based player. And him losing the momentum off the back of that game can be very difficult to deal with.
Okay, okay, nice up. check. Yeah. Alright, Zerna, you need to take the momentum ASAP. Put your opponent into the corner. Put the pressure on, yes. That's what you need. Keep him guessing, and he guessed right. Ooh, I like that. He walked out of the corner there, of course. I think if you just hold forward for a frame and your opponent's not in front of you, you can just walk out the corner there, but then also to get the perfect parry is kind of sick. So they're still able to close it out, though, with that huge life lead. All right. Oh, wow. Dry rushes himself out of the corner, finds a big shimmy in range for that back heavy kick. So much damage. Level 3 will be on deck if he wants it. No, just going to take the safe jump. Wow. I love when he is. <laughs> That's why I played like him Owen in Japanese. Wilson. He sounds like, wow. when he whiffs the throw, he sounds like Owen Wilson. He's like, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> it's so real. Oh, my God. Uh, Guaranteed stun. Zerna, nice use of the Feng Shui engine to close it out. Now uh, it opens with a clean end here. Maldomina looking to reclaim that momentum. Important moment for Zerna. He found a way to break his opponent's defense down, but he needs to keep it up. Yep. That's what he needed. A lot of momentum inside of Zerna now. He's looking very, very comfortable. Oh, God. Trade on the EX projector right there. Okay. Yeah, Maldomina is uh, cycling through these wake up options. Backdash. Great. <laughs> Even better. Perfect parry from Zerna, though. And gonna go for the DI, safe jump. You're gonna gamble on the parry? Does. Does work out. Gets a little bit of drive gauge to work with. Still gets opened up by the double overhead. And you are back in the same situation. Still <laughs> feng shuiing and still mixing. It is such a difficult tool to uh, fight against. Serna from 0 2 to 2 2, looking for maybe a reverse sweep. Maldomina on the back foot. Can you bring it back right now? Needs some momentum. Gets the shimmy at least. Good start. Yo, we dancing, no button press. <laughs> the the sh movement from our dominant. Actually going to put Zen into burnout here. Baby. Let's dive kick out of the corner. More importantly, gives him time to build some meter for that level one. So he can defend himself now if, if Zerna does get the eyed here. <laughs> Whoa. Forward dash out of the corner to get the back throw, but the check on the forward approach. Mount dominant on two set point now. Wow. Boom. Oh my god, it's time. It's time. He's Party got time. so much mileage of that level two so far, and there we go. Oh. Marvel Next. time, baby. Double Next. overheads. Oh, lucky moment. Oh, lucky breakaway. Take it as well. That's all he needed. Take it as well. The pressure. Gonna get the throw. Just needs one more hit. The back dash, but no button pressed on Maldomino's side. He's about to close oh. it. And yes, he does with a Sobat. Maldomino denies that reverse sweep. It is three tweets. <laughs> there is just something oddly tranquil about playing a bad character you know <laughs> it's like you got nothing to lose you know what i mean there's no ego like there's nothing there you just play in zang you just scoop at people uh, there's no expectation <laughs> Akaren, it's like you you have to stop playing every single character who doesn't have reversal that's what i was saying earlier Akaren. <laughs> yeah, at the moment funny. the two characters i kind of want to play for fun are marisa and zangif and you know what i said no and i'm gonna force myself to play ryu because I want a character with good damage and a crouch medium kick drive rush. That's what the, I need. The problem, the problem is, is if you do get a player character with a reversal, you ain't going back to Kimberly. That's the problem. You lose yeah, the discipline. Feel wrong. Yeah. 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 That's true. <laughs> Just play Akuma. What if Akuma hurt? No, there's no way he doesn't have a reversal. Akuma will have everything, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what am I yapping about? All right. Whoa. Let's see. The sticky against MBR. Of course, you know, we know the Sticky has been really good at uh, 
catching players off guard, but it's a bit harder to catch a veteran off guard, you know, and, and MBR is a man with a lot of experience in, in Street Fighter overall and not just oh. six, so let's see how he approached this. Oh, I'm getting mixed. All this, uh, we got frame kills out here. Frame deaths, maybe even. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, BR. What were you saying, Damascus? A very nervous casual guy? I mean, yeah, that was just a good mix up, honestly. Hey, hey, mix. What can I say, man? You got yeah, mix, my friend. Mix. Nah, it's just mix. I mean, it was a well spaced uh, stand short, right? Into, or like a uh, forward short into level three buffered into, uh, yeah. Kind of nasty, if you ask me. Pro in the chat, Zangief on the screen. All right. Now, do you know? Do you know what I? Unironically want to play, uh, Laz. I want to play Modern what? Gif. Modern Gif. <laughs> I want to. Now I want to okay. SPD drive rushes. <laughs> I've seen. I like I was it. thinking about the theory of this, and then I saw Justin Wong doing it, and I'm like, yeah, I need to do this. <laughs> What, what does he lose from one? I'm trying to think. I don't even, I don't even know. He has all his good normals that he needs to use. So. <laughs> maybe he uses like loses stand short. Maybe I don't know. Oof. That sounds kind of hype. I do actually want to like just learn pad and just play like a modern character on pad. Yeah. I feel like that's extremely powerful. Boom! I'm in at you. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely bring in the heat this game. That's one thing you do against Zangief again. Like, yeah, he's quite scary offensively, and he can be hard to, like, stop approaching, right? He has a really fast walk speed. Um, I mean, compared to his size. But yeah. he is bad on the defense, so you got to abuse that fact. Yeah, put him on the back foot and, and keep the pressure on. I feel like it's something kind of unique to Zangief in 6 as well, because... In, SA, in Street Fighter, usually I'm scared to get close to Zangief. Like, I'm scared to be yeah, the one on right. the offense. I kind of want to just stay away and, and not play. But in 6, it's it's better to be annoying him before he's annoying you, you know? Yeah, I, I, and ironically, I feel like it's because there's no, like, plus buttons in this game. So you're not going to get SPD'd out of your frame trap, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just like you, you t you t you're doing like a frame try string and then you're kind of spacing trapping him. Exactly. Rather than trying to frame trap him, which is generally the scary part about playing against any grapple, really. Yeah. But the fact that you don't frame trap in this game, unless you're really plus <laughs> with the driver, so that, that changes a lot. Yeah. Hadouken. Hadouken. Yeah, definitely MBR slowed it way down. I'd love to see this. Clean. Oh. Control. And just being basically free to the gin rise because he's got no reversal, no nothing. EX projectile, gonna gonna catch the neutral jump, and now yeah, Sticky needs to find some some sort of footing, some sort of momentum. That's a good start, but great jump away. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. that's gonna be quite important to deal with the Hadoukens. Stand fierce. Yeah, MBR is a uh, MBR activated Suturito Fighter mode, bro. That's all he's doing. He's like, hold up! I'm about to play Street Fighter play. right now. <laughs> yeah, you gotta play Zangi Fire. That's what that's what you're against right now. So hard to play for Sticky Man. It's not even like MBR's whiffing anything. He's just being perfectly in range. Burnout, but. Oh. Just the Jin right coming in. And the sticky cannot find a way out. Yeah, and it looks like uh, MBR has got a read on, on how the sticky plays right now. Let's see if uh, he can keep going. Combo delayed into the frame trap there. The DI committing to something. Get out of it. Oh, I love the side by the way. Bush Dynamite. And NBI just waking up, Stan fears into the gin rise. It's working out so well for him so far. Nice. Big 
whip punish. Ooh. Mm. Even better. Ooh. Oh. If that was uh, better for meter there, or if SPD would have just been better. Looks cool Ooh. either way. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, no. Unfortunate, unfortunate. He was a bit he too was eager. Too fast. Yep. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> oh, ouch. Put man down. Oof, oof, Sit. oof. No! Oh no! <gasps> What the extra that? drive rush meant he couldn't count into the level three and he didn't get the cancel on level two on the down forward. Oh. That's all right. That's all right. That's just one more hug. It's okay. Zangief. Let's go. Something crazy when you watch Zangief wake up four dash into speed. <laughs> Crikey. I mean, definitely. I get it. You're, you're going to be quite scared of that level three. Of course. Anything to yeah, get away, but no actual punish. That's all right. Getting the punish counter. Yeah. There's a choice you make when you jump back away from these commanders. Last second, the eye though. Please. Oh, he tried. I think that was the first time he actually misses this one. And you know what? He tries again. Yeah. A true Zangief player. Oh, that's a stun. If he wants to spend the level 2, that might be enough. Nah, definitely not. Zangief got a lot of help. Safe jump. Throw bait. Set up with the back dash and beyond our set point. All the mirror in the world to work with. It would be easy for the sticky. Nice. Catches that stand fierce. Ouch. All right. He's coming in again. MBR. Gonna create some distance right now. He's got bars. Chucking these fireballs, but got to watch out because the city has been pretty good at calling them out with jumps. Especially at this range. Oh. Oh, that's big. That will be the oh, no. Still no level 3 from MBR. Just to keep all the mirror in the world. Pressure. <gasps> the great equalizer. The great equalizer. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're trolling if you don't play a crouch medium kick driver's card. <laughs> <laughs> Big Coming GG's, man. You. MBR Damn. closing it, and he just showed right. We we're talking about experience earlier, and that's that's the thing with MBR. Clocked on what his opponent was about, and got that win. Two. If you guys don't know, my my grandfather. Like, probably has a Borog, you know, he has never played Street Fighter, but that, that was the character. There was a guy who entered three back-to-back -back tournaments and beat world-class players in these tournaments. There was a tournament okay. where he beat both Phenom and Luffy 3-0. And I remember Gosh. being chilling with him later in the evening, and we were just chatting yeah. Street Fighter 5, and someone was like, oh yeah, but, you know, in this setup, if you back roll, uh, they don't have a meaty after that. And the guy answered us, back roll? What's a back roll? He, he, <laughs> did, he didn't even know that was two wakes up, wake ups in SF5. And he still beat Luffy and Phenom. He just beating everyone. Like, I won't lie, like, that is hilarious. And I feel like this happens much less in, in fighting games for sure. <laughs> but you'd be surprised sometimes when top players, like, don't understand a simple concept. You know, they don't know why they're good. They just are. And that's one of the most infuriating <laughs> things in any competitive game where it's just like, I like, how do you know so little but are just can't, still that good? Oh my god. Never forget Daigo coming to Ireland and losing to a Baroque that we've never heard of before or after. You know? <laughs> like, it's this guy, oh he pulled up to a tournament, he beat Daigo in winners and losers, we never heard of him again. <laughs> like, <laughs> this was a dark timeline, man. Baby. As, as season 2 was a dark timeline. Yo, merci uh, the Sticky pour le raid. You guys, chat, send some GGs to the Sticky. Hit that follow button. He streams a lot. He actually runs a, a lot of offline and online events in France. Uh, so go follow the man. He's putting a lot of work. Big GGs. And, you know, we hope we have you next week. As always. Oh. Oh. Not gonna be enough. But anti uh, jump back, medium kick. Juicy Joe could spend the level three to close that out, but was a little bit, you know, greedy in a sense. Only spending the level two. 
away. Now. All right, then. Tier is clean. Alpha is taking his. Oh no! I don't know what he confirmed. Did he maybe get hit by rollback? I wonder. That's departure shadow. Gonna be blocked by Alphen. Playing close to that burnout though. Trying to fight back. Nearly gets that perfect parry timing. But now gonna be in burnout. Does have level three. Oh, big jump. Still no level three. Nice being patient. Juicy Joe. He's on the back foot, but oh, he gets in, gets the throw. Oh, do you test his reactions though, or not? I mean... <gasps> Pressure. Rid of that reversal of one, I think. Doesn't want to commit to any sort of chip sequence. And they both recover from burnout in a tense situation. Uh oh, the eye alpha now could be oh! the end, though. The throw <laughs> on the mix up. Damn. <sighs> That was, uh... I, I didn't breathe for like a good 20 seconds there, man. I'm back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> back to life. For sure, you gotta give Street Fighter 6 season one at least that. When both players are in burnout. Super tense situation it's tense. sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Another cannon strike. Alphen putting him into the corner immediately. Oh, the amnesia. Oh, tap tap. Oh my god, that was clean. See, this is the kind of nice stuff you lab, you know, like it's tap tap. They tend to jump a lot after this situation, and there is enough yeah, of a gap yeah. that the air throw works. Yeah, it's one of those where it seems so hyper specific of a situation, but like you'll play enough JP players and you'll realize this is a very, actually a common sequence, right? So yeah. it's worth practicing. Whereas like a lot of people be like, ah, oh, you know, what's the point? Like, I'll just hold that, basically. Yeah. Oh my <gasps> god. Oh my god. Well, this is one of my favorite baits in the game, the, the JP teleport. Because it makes you feel so stupid, you know, like the way he just yep. like, I'm out, I'm back in, let's go, thank you. Goes completely the other way. Alphen, time to defend. Okay. Clean, yeah. I got a lot of drive gauge back as well. Because he held that parry. Still not in the best situation though. Oh, the check. Oh. Yo, that the crotch crotch medium punch on JP's side is so ridiculously good. Such a good button. One of the if not the best, well. I, I think guess it's is it, is probably still the best, but it's very good. Is it the best that it's probably the best at checking drive rushes. Is there a better button than that crotch medium key to check a drive rush? It's the best at checking drive rush, and yeah. it's also the best when you drive rush behind it. Because <laughs> yeah. you can't check it. Or it's a bit of a lottery when you do, because it does just has a destroyed hurt box, obviously. It's still incredibly fast and big reward on it. Yeah. I can't really think of any button that is better, really. Yeah, I can't think of any like with that range, that that slight disjoint. It's it's so good. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, I don't think this is the same in chat. I think it's the best, but let me know chat if if there is one I missed. But there are a couple uh, of it's... good drivers checks, but I think that crouch medium punch is by far the best. Seven frames, you know, it's it's nice. It's like perfect speed. It's got enough active frames, you know, so uh, it's pretty nasty. All right. Juicy Joe is looking extremely solid. Yeah, Marisa has a uh, crush medium punch, I agree. It's one of the best as That's well. True. Manon, Manon has really good driver's checks. As uh, much as uh, people yeah. say she's not a good character, she's uh, all right at checking driver's rush. Perfect parry, Juicy Joe, a little bit too juicy today. The extra part is down. Can commit to the ETC, okay. Nice blocks from Alphen though. I've rarely seen that <laughs> overhead block, man. I can't lie, I got hit. Mm. Uh, the fact that he managed to get like a, I don't, is, I think it's reactable, but like the 50-50 mix up. Um, and then also just, it would be his turn again. And he did three bars of drive gauge damage throughout that entire sequence, man. They need to do something about this uh, heavy kick, heavy punch TC, because it's also only minus three for yeah. some reason. Every other TC in this game is like minus double digits. For some reason, that one's only minus three, which makes it plus in burnout, by the way. Crazy stuff. <laughs> and it does like, and it does like two bars. No, it does like a bar of drive gauge damage. You know, it's, it's the Power, classic. Powerful. 
that's that's when we need it you know why does I, why does x have this because he needs it that's that's the answer <laughs> <laughs> the fact that the, yeah the heavy kicks plus by itself has a tc that goes into it's safe like i think i'd just make it so there's a gap between the heavy punch and the heavy kick so you can mm -hmm. at least like parry in between all right so far it's been a pretty slow paced game but juicy joy is the one who looks in control way more than his opponents gets the back throw and it's time observe How is this old man getting his legs so high, bro? It's not fair. You've been training Why does it hit you life? when you're crouching? It doesn't look like it should. <laughs> oh. All right. Plus frames. I told you. I just told uh. you it's plus, baby. Uh. Dead. There we go. Juicy Joe with a very, very, very dominant winner's final. I know. Uh, loser, loser to be final, sorry, of this tournament. Uh, it's going to be Maldominant versus... MBR. Yep. Just the winner does get that privilege of fighting Alphan in the losers' fights. Yeah, Ken versus DJ. Ugh, big whiff from the jump. No punch counter on the throw though. Nah, that's, that's one of the cool things I like about this game though, for sure, is in dry rush, of course, you can catch into special moves, which also count, you know, movement options that are special moves, like the sway, like the just cool. Right. And you're putting his opponent to the corner, the trades. Ah, a bit too far to get a conversion of that uh, EX Fireball. Let's go. Hmm. Is there a way for him to escape this? It's looking really hard. Oh! oh! <laughs> NBR, bro! Sick. It's like you spoke into existing Damascus. Is there a way out of this? Yes, there is. He Let me show the you the way. way. Man, like MBR. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, delay. Low forward, side swap, level three on top. Coming at you. MBR. Sheesh. MBR is playing brilliant so far. Oh, and then just sends it with the EX sure you can close out the first game of game style. A bit, let's go. MBR up one. Maldomino. Obviously sometime at right, first to three you got some time to adapt to your opponents. Oh. Ugh. Jim Knight frame trapping. Jumping at the right timing against uh, I mean, dominant a lot of MBR is, but just not pressing the cross-up button, <laughs> unfortunately. I get it, you know what? Uh, Ken jump heavy punch, probably quite a juicy to press. I uh, no respect. And that's alright because that's gonna work. Ah, uh, unfortunately though. Mm. Let's get opened up by that jump down short. Maxima. Nice. Yes. Oh, trying to wait for the reversal there that time. Does still take the throw though. Oh, <laughs> fine. Look, you know if you're gonna keep sending DPS like that, you're gonna get made at some point. You know that. Eventually. It's just a matter of when. Eventually. Yeah. Eventually. It's okay. It happens. You know, like you need you need to uh, push your luck. Yeah. Exactly. Firm off the jab. There we go. Now dominant, even it out. One to one. You know, it's been uh, close to a year of Street Fighter 6, and I still have no idea what kind of game plan to apply against CJ. <laughs> My game plan against DJ is I'm playing Street Fighter 6. Inshallah, it works. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have an approach, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think it's just really hard because he's genuinely so well rounded. He has so many good tools. Like, he could play a basically guile, you know, boom, flash kick kind of game plan. 
uh, you know, Heavy Air Slasher will blow up any projectile based game plan. He has, like, you know, obviously just cool. He has a, the best drive rush in the game. He just yeah. has ex excellent normals. He can play any style. And that freedom is, like, so powerful uh, yeah. for, you know, for. Because you can't make a game plan. You have to kind of adapt to DJ players themselves. Yeah, because he can counter any game plan. I think it's like the, the, main, the two main culprits in this game of this is, uh, you know, a DJ and Luke. Because to me, they're yes. so well rounded that you don't really have a game plan because they're too good. Like, the game plan is yep. try to uh, figure out what the player is about. Exactly. Oh. My strategy against DJ is to pray and spin the wheel. That's the one. My strategy against yeah. DJ is to always do a round star drive rush in round one. Just to assert dominance, you know, like I, I will drive rush too, bro. You're not the I'll only do one. I'll it first. <laughs> I think. Uh... And I play guards, so either hold down back and just react to drive rush or uh, round start jump because <laughs> for some reason DJs they get addicted to the heavy air slash and beating a boom. So yeah. I True. get it. We all have our different approaches, that's why I love to see man. And these uh, EXDPs, he's still happy to let them rip and his success rate has been pretty high so far. Damn. <laughs> that machine gun up, man, it chunks your health, not dominant. Two to one. If you, if you guys ever want to uh, test the, the 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 levels of OG of a DJ player, you look at the like pad or stick when they do machine gun upper. If they mash <laughs> buttons, they're for real. If they don't mash buttons, they're probably zoomers. They're probably about to watch Skibidi toilet after this game. You know that's what they are. You, you can you can stop. You can go let them play Fortnite, bro. Oh. <laughs> Oh, All right. Foolish. Oh. Look at the side swap from the juggling sway as well. The fake jump on the perfect parry attempt. Party time. Nice. Guaranteed. Punish. Counter. Ugh. Sniping out this guy and how's my dominant making this comeback happen? He's got the corner and DJ's burnout pressure. Also one of the best in the game. Does get jumped in on. That is like one of his slight weaknesses is like you don't have charge. His back heavy kick is very, very specific as an anti. I clean to the corner we go. <laughs> no. The beauty of chat, the beauty of, of stream chats. For the people who are watching on YouTube, uh, get on these, get on stream, guys. Like the stream chat is always such a fun time. Shout out to the guys on the the chat, man. Been a lot of fun tonight with you guys. Thank you for joining. Yeah. It's our first uh, set and reset Thursday. We appreciate uh, you spending your Thursday evening with us. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're on YouTube, you, you must just know that the chat is discussing Skibidi Toilet lore right now. I'm not, go <laughs> I'm not gonna expand and commentate on the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. oh my god. How dominant. How's he doing it? Oh, he's made this comeback again, hasn't he? Skibidi gang rid. <laughs> See, I, I'm on TikTok, so at least I get some of this. But I do try to stay out of it. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> so, please, please stick to playing Street Fighter 6. <laughs> Don't go to the dark side, man. <laughs> oh, my God. We are we having a... The prime Twitch at moment. Just ask the people if you're watching <laughs> on YouTube right evil. now. Much love. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Brain rot. <laughs> oh, what a confirm. Uh, uh, uh. The rhythm Let's of the go. skibbity rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just flex. Dance a bit. Mal Domino the clip. No! That oh, was such a sick that's... idea. That was a bit too far. It's okay. It's still gonna work. There we yeah, go. NDR. Nice, nice, nice. Gets the game regardless. That was almost an incredibly good conversion. Yeah, it's definitely one of those you just never seen before, but your brain is like, oh, this has to work. And if it was just a couple frames quicker, would have. Yeah. <laughs> I the chat killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oops. Let's get it. Go time. Number one should be enough here. Oh no. 
Doesn't want to risk it. Oh, maybe you should have risked it. Now you're in burnout in the corner versus DJ. And uh, your level one. That's not projectile invincible, does jump. <laughs> nice. Ah, it's match point for MBR. <laughs> what is it? This bro talking but TikTok language. One of the. <laughs> Bro, you know, yeah, if, if Street Fighter Six Japanese. wants to make money, bro, they should they should make a fully Zoomer character, right? I want a character who says Elrys when when he parries you, or like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I, that was kind of the idea, but behind you know Luke, right? But uh, his, I, I mean, guess when they made Luke, he's now like he's aged past being a Zoomer. You know what I mean? <laughs> he was a Zoomer at the time. Bad mistake. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, go time. MBR yes. Oh. MBR is playing so clean today, man. Love to see it. Big G's, of course, to Mal. To be fair, does anyone know, like, Flag Law? <laughs> yeah, fla Flag Law is actually... Uh, flag Law is actually flag mad law. interesting. I, I'm, okay. I'm, a, I'm a big... I love watching random documentaries and, and Did You Know stuff yes. on YouTube. And Flag Law is one of my prime <laughs> rabbit hole of I can't sleep and I'm watching YouTube. And honestly, it's actually bad fun. <laughs> It's, it's Speaking of which, you know the the, the birds documentary. The, that's I'm hoping that's the kind of stuff that will randomly come up on someone's, you know, uh, like someone's just on the dark web. You know, they're just looking for something to watch, and then they're like, "Damn, yeah. I want to play fighting games after watching that." Yeah. <laughs> that's the one. Yeah, Belgium standing Germany. Yeah, that, flags, flags is a fun thing. Man. I love. <laughs> just a few weeks ago, I was watching a video on why no flag has purple, and I'm like, so funny. Yeah, you don't you don't see purple in so flags. Wild. <laughs> oh, don't even think. Don't tell me that. Now I'm like, really? I s Listen, <laughs> there's like, be something. Uh, you know, before you know, when you go to sleep, take your phone, tap tap like flags, and you know, enjoy. Flags. Okay. Enjoy. Does, is there like a flag government that like police this stuff? Is it? <laughs> Not even. It just I depends wonder. on country after country. You know, it's uh, it's it's a lot of fun. You know, plenty of uh, <laughs> of fun, but Alfen representing uh, you know vertical Netherlands is uh, is taking the first round against horizontal France. Up and over. Okay. I just bully an Alfen in this corner. Definitely one of the scariest places to be against Ken. That stand fierce is so annoying. Uh, neutral. That too often these days. Ugh. Oh. MBR definitely, I feel like as the tournament's gone on, been a bit more frugal with these DPs. Oh, excellent choice there with the DI for the burnout. The punish. Even on the light gin right. Ugh. Let's commit to that low forward though. And they will bring one round apiece. That is weirdly one thing I hope they do change about Ken. Like, I hope they just make his like light gin right like not punishable. <laughs> Are you crazy? Because it's a cool I, I, look, I'm sorry, I'm one above this cack. But like, it's a cool frame trapping tool and it leads to cool confirms on, on like, you know, on crouching hits and things like that. Uh, but you just never see it because it's just so useless. All right, locked on. Locked on. Already final top shade info. So yeah, so all of you guys joining, one of the things that uh, we're trying to do with uh, uh, with Set and Reset is to have an entire stream that's maximum four hours. Uh, I'm pretty much holding it right now. It's like three and a half to four hours. Uh, I think it's a good tournament length and it works. So yeah, we always try to finish it at a, a good time. Yeah. Oh, Alfen. Gonna be taking the first game, the, the EXDP. Again, I feel like both these players are like using a lot more <laughs> EXDP. All right, it's pressure time. Alfen putting MBR in the corner. Nice. I like the challenge. But it's crouch medium kick. Again, good. Check. Yes. 
Yep. Following the perfect power in the projectile as well. Like, you know, people talk about Fireball Drive Rush as much as they want, but, you know, there is some counterplay sometimes from certain ranges against uh, certain Fireballs, you know. Can get that perfect parry, check the Drive Rush. And it's just like that, Alpha. Getting a lot of momentum. Big punish counter with the Fierce, but MBR still ready with the DP, even on hit. Right, MBR on the momentum right now. Nice delay. It's going to go for the max damage on this. Is dead? She is. Yeah, not much. Just, just the frame trap. Jinrai into the level two. Barely any scaling on that. Guaranteed option versus some of these Jinrai's. As long as you're in range, Alpha knows. Kind of sprite. Boom. Very close game, and he's still okay throwing fireballs that close. Is that enough? That enough, that's enough. Oh, I don't know, it's gonna be awfully close. I, I think he's alive with a pixel. Uh, yeah, he's living, I'm saying it. Oh, oh the one pixel! Oh. The magic oh. pixel! Oh. But that's alright. Alfen takes it. And I go, I think I pressed the uh, wait, I pressed the wrong button. It's 2 0, right? It's not, it's not two. Yeah. Let's go. Little subtle walk back mountain. Looking to get that run back against Juicy Joe waiting that grand finals. Looking flawless today. Looking juicy, perhaps. Oh, outplayed. Yeah, keep keep going. Okay, do it again. Do it again. Yeah, do, 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 do it again. I swear. Do it again. 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 Oh, no. You should have you done it again. Coward. <laughs> you coward, Alfin. Whack. Set point. <laughs> All right, Alfen is looking good. And immediately gets some kind of momentum. MBR is struggling to meet the pace that has been imprinted by Alfen in this matchup. And see all yeah, of these drivers. Well. You know it's really wow. long for someone when all his drivers rushes wow. get checked. That's when you know it's really, yeah. really, really long. Yeah, MBR looking a little bit lost in this matchup. Not gonna lie. It was like his usual patient style just wasn't really working out and then just didn't have the correct read on, on the approach. <laughs> oh shit, never knew. Yep. Anyway, here we go, grab finals time. Juicy Joe on the winner's side up against Alfen. Making the run back from the loser's side. All right, let's see. Let me just put the loser and winner on this. All good, it is Alfen on the loser's sides against Juicy Joe. Again, right, he lost 3 0 in winner's final. What can he change? See? Might need to change a lot, you know. You lose 3 0. Never looks good. Good start, though. And that crouch heavy punch. He did have some good answers to the amnesia. And you can see that time. Literally, the last time we saw that interaction, Alpha did tap, tap, jump, air throw. Juicy Joe this time doesn't jump, and Alpha doesn't jump either. They were both ready for that interaction perfectly. All right, see, carrying on that momentum that he built was well, such a good way to come back to his grand finals, you know, a very dominant loser's final, puts you back in a confident mood and it's so important, especially in six in a game where momentum is such a big thing. Yep. Yeah, one of the biggest things even, a nice block on the dry reversal, big punish as well, was ready. Gonna have Juicy Joe. Oh, he blocked that! Damn. Normally, you just see people obviously parry that or just get hit. But in burnout, Juicy Joe with the cross up reactions. I can't get more. He's gonna go for the level 2. Alfen, you're gonna be burned out now. Mm, not gonna kill just yet, but he's waiting to see for the reset. Alfen blocking. Alfen, when is the way out for you? 
full screen, but got to watch out because he's got level 3. You can't just go for departure, you can't just go for oh. fireball, still gonna get the kill. Yeah, exactly as you're saying, Damascus. He knows he can't commit to any long range projectile game from all the way over there. So just does triple dash up, blocks the dive kick, and it's punishable. Nice stuff from Juicy Joe. Press. Going for that drive gauge damage. Juicy Joe definitely one of the one of the best at targeting that. Oh, the perfect nice. parry. He gets some momentum. Oh, immediately wow. goes for the oh. ulti. He wants burnout. He wants burnout. Doesn't care. I mean, that's going to be decent damage anyway, but more importantly, that's going to be burnout. Yeah, exactly. Exactly what he's looking for. Oh. Now this situation is scary. Gets the big shimmy. Not going to be enough. The throw, still not going to be enough, but chip's definitely a factor. Oh. <sighs> that was, Dash up. That, that was confidence in motion. That's, what, that's all yes. it was. That was a man who knew what he was doing, and he knew that would work. Yeah, super smart. Baited the, the wake up buttons, baited the, the wake up, uh, you know, would have baited the wake up throw attempt, things like that. And it would have killed on block. So just super smart. And I think if he, Juicy Joe immediately did reversal super, he was already in the air, right? So you wouldn't have to actually have to commit to the, to the dive kick and would have been able to punish. Away. Uh, now full screen. Yes. Alfen is uh, being patient, moves out of the departure range, but looking to get one opening. Don't ask me why that sweeps minus six. No one, no one needs to know. <laughs> <laughs> These certain questions must not be asked, lads. <laughs> you know. I could say that like, about so many of JP's moves. Why is this only minus? Why is this minus six? Why? Is <laughs> I told you, like there are things. It's, there is a gentleman's agreement of watching fighting games where there are questions you should not ask. Like you, you don't go to a Dragon Ball stream and say is is rollback fixed. You you don't go to a Mortal Kombat stream and say this is a bad animation. You know, like the, these are words that don't, are don't banned. Kill you, Damascus. Exactly. You don't go to a Tekken stream and say when is Akuma. <laughs> You know, like, the, these are words <laughs> you are legally not allowed. Everyone oh. knows it's, it's, it's not written anywhere, but everyone knows you should never say it. Yeah, I think for sure. <laughs> Sometimes ignorance is bliss. You know, the less you know, the better. <laughs> the better it is. <laughs> what we got set up here. Mm -hmm. Level one. Should be enough. That was optimal as hell. Juicy yeah. Joe, even in this one up. Looking to close the set early, not giving Alfen too big of a momentum, too big of an opportunity to potentially reset that Grand Finals. Let's go. You always know you're cooked when you, someone gets a stun combo on you and they do some kind of frame kill setup. You know it's over, man. <laughs> yeah. When you see the frame kill, you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm in for the long run, yeah. <laughs> it's like... I, I, I don't know if you've seen like the Zangief's got some hyper specific stuff where he does like yeah. jump back, like fake drop kick, triple stomp into like some crazy stuff. And it's like, oh, that, I'm dead. <laughs> I saw someone doing a, uh, I think it was Prophet that did a troll video on Aki with this, like the stun. And my oh, man did yes. 75 frame kills. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've seen that. I, know, I like frame kills because th they make you look like you know what you're doing. You know, like when yeah. when you open and frame kills, you like he's onto something. You know, he's 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 for real. That's what I like. You know, you know what goes even harder is someone who doesn't need to frame kill. They just they can just see the frames, man. Yeah. Like you know, there's some setups where you can just do Ken's fierce to make it meaty. You just like with a jab and stuff. But what, what goes extra hard is if you just do the fierce and it hits meaty anyway. Exactly. <laughs> I with nothing. My mind whiffs. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I count to the frames. Ooh. Assert dominance. All right. Back to full screen. Alfen. I like Alfen's overall approach. You know, from full screen, he's uh, looking to get that one opening. He's happy to just... Nice. Parry when needed. Hmm. Dance it. Def oh, I... I cursed the, he had a chance. Juicy Joe, immediate perfect parry on the frame trap with the jabs. 
crouch face level free. This guy's just I don't know. Too Pristine. clean. Too clean. Too juicy juicy. Joe. Yep. One game away from winning this event. Yeah, the robe had meaty with Ken. Agreed, uh, and yeah, you know, like it. It just yeah. makes you you feel strong. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't need this. I don't need these uh, frame kill things. You know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is like just like something manually timed, right? It's like any kind of non-buffable input. Which, uh, you know, if you're a Street Fighter player and you've played since Street Fighter Four, you should probably be pretty familiar with those. <laughs> yes. All right, Alfen is uh, keeping the right distance there. Gets to punish Kangaroo through. Is he going to do it again? Yes. Alfen takes the round. Looking to uh, make it 2-2. Two -two. Still has a chance. He's not coming back. He's on the loser side. Oh. Oh. Overhead. Gotta try and make it in without losing too much of the drive gauge. Nice to walk up throw. Something should be, I mean, something that's kind of understated is if when you do land these throws, your drive gauge does get to replenish and like normally the animations give you enough time for like three, three quarters of a bar, which is a lot in this game. Big anti -air. not going to spend the level three. Oh, I smash points. Bruh. Let's go. Ouch. Oh. Juicy Joe. On set point, looking to finish it off. <laughs> yeah, throws a good start. The roll. Hit confirm. This is does so much damage. EX trigger lab into the interdiction. Oof. <laughs> it's not fair, man. It's not fair. Oh, he's too juicy, man. It's over. Mm, yeah, that was done. That was way yes. too much. What a final round by Juicy Joe, man. 19 seconds long rounds. Absolute dominance.